back in the American Conference and a choice to be on the American Conference All-Star team with another Purdue graduate, Len Dawson, the starting quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. It is 15th year. Dawson is 6'1", 190 pounds, completing 167 out of 301 for 2,504 yards, 15 touchdowns. Dawson intercepted 13 times. His favorite target, the flanker, Otis Tater, from Prairie View in his seventh year, 6'3", 215 pounds, 57 catches, 1,110 yards, and seven touchdowns. In terms of yardage by catches, the leading receiver in the American Conference, although in terms of the number of catches, he is second to Brent Belichnikoff of the Oakland Raiders. Wendell Hayes is the fullback from Humboldt State, 6'1", and 220 pounds, 132 carries, 541 yards, and one touchdown. It's been the best year Wendell Hayes has enjoyed in his seven-year career. Ed Podolak, the halfback, third year from Iowa, 6'1", 204 pounds, the 10th rusher in the American Conference with 184 carries for 708 yards and nine touchdowns. Morris Stroud, the tight end, third year, Clark College, 6'10", 255 pounds, 22 catches, 454 yards and a touchdown. Elmo Wright, the other wide receiver, a rookie from Houston, 6 feet, 190 pounds, 26 catches for 524 yards and three touchdowns. Now as the color guard comes to the center of the field, and we... And here to bring it to you is Dick Carlson. Thank you very much, Bill, and I mentioned earlier... <laughs> ...had six and open five. John Stenerud has the ball teed up at the 40-yard line. And the deep men, Mercury Morris on the far side, and Doobie Ginn on the near side at the goal line for the Miami Dolphins. And we're about ready for the start of the playoff game between the Chiefs and the Dolphins. Stenerud, stick in the air. It's a high one. Into the end zone, through the goal post, and Mercury Morris lets it bounce out of the end zone. That stick carried five yards deep right down the upright. And the Dolphins, with Bob Treasy at the helm, will have the ball on their own 20-yard line. Offensively, across the front for the Dolphins. Doug Cruson, left tackle. Bob Tuchenberg, left guard. Bob DeMarco, the center. Larry Little, the right guard. And Norm Evans, the right tackle. Paul Warfield, wide left. Howard Pulley is wide to the right side. And I formation with Saka and Kick. Fleming the tight end, the handoff, kick up the middle, runs right in to Curly Culp as he comes to the 20-yard line. Maybe picks up a yard. Willie Lanier is also there. Call it a, a gain of a yard. It'll be second down and nine yards to go. The Dolphins come out on the ground, something that's been very successful for them throughout the year, the combination of Jim Kick and Larry Sanka. Mercury Morris comes in and Kick goes out. Morris is in the I formation behind Sanka. Quilly wide to the right side. Warfield tight up on the left. Fleming is the tight end on the right. Quilly almost a wing back on the right. Hand off. Sanka trying right guard. Gets it across the 25. Out near the 26 where Jim Lynch brings him down. Defensively, this is how it looks for Kansas City. Marvin Upshaw, the left end. Curly Culp and Buck Buchanan. Two all-conference selections of the tackle. Darren Brown, the right end. Bobby Bell, another all-conference man, is the left end with Willie Lanier, another all-conference selection. The middle linebacker, Jim Lynch, the right linebacker. Jim Marsalis and Emmett Thomas, the cornerback. And Jim Turney and Johnny Robinson are the safety. Willie, wide to the right side on third down and four. Warfield is in the slot. The running backs are Kick and Sonka, side by side, Fleming the tight end left. Third down and four as Lanier stunts in the middle. Greasy rolls out, wants to throw, rolling right. Has a little time. Pumps and fires, and it's incomplete. Intended for Howard Curley at the 50-yard line. And the crowd gives a nice hand to the Kansas City defenses they have held. And Larry Seifel will be called upon for the first time to punt of the football game. Seifel averaging 40.1 yards a kick. Looks very much like Don Shula will be calling the play today. He has sent uh, a play in each on each call. And uh, I would imagine that he might go with that all afternoon. Stifle is back at his own 11-yard line. The deep man is Ed Podolak at the Kansas City 36, and Dennis Holman is at the Kansas City 47 as there's a very loose eye formation and punt receiving. The kick away by Stifle, a wobbly spiral. Fair catch calls for and taken by Podolak at the Kansas City 43. Good field position as the Chiefs are on offense. Dick, the wind may be a little factor going that direction because it is 16 to 20 miles an hour and the ball seemed to hang up. 31-yard punt by Larry Seifel. 
the crowd comes to life as Dawson announces the quarterback. He didn't play against Buffalo last week, nursing a sprained ankle. James Graham went with Mike Livingston and John Hewitt all the way, giving Dawson the rest. He's ready to play today. Nobody turned in on the injury report for the Chiefs this week. No wide receivers. Now, Otis Hader flexes out wide to the right of the shift, and Elmo Wright goes wide left. High formation with Hayes and Podolak. Dawson wants to throw on first down. Pumps right. Throws. Podolak. Complete. 40. 45. Up the right side, and he runs right into one Miami Dolphin at about the 48-yard line. That's Bob Matheson, the linebacker on the near side. And he wasn't going to give ground at all to Podolak. Matheson announced as a late replacement for Mike Polis at linebacker. Good gain on the play. Gain of about five. It'll be second down. Five yards to go. The ball is on the near hash mark. Defensively, Miami up front. Jim Riley, Manny Fernandez, Bob Heinz, and Bill Stanfield. That's the front four. The linebackers are Doug Swift, Nick Guanacani in the middle, and Bob Matheson on the other side. High formation. Wendell Hayes and Ed Podolak. Taylor in the slot left with right wide to the left side. Stroud the tight end left. Hand up. Quick opener off left guard. Wendell Hayes into Miami territory at the 40-yard line and down to the 36. Big block by Jack Rutley, the center, and also Ed Buddy, the left guard. The gain all the way down to the Miami 46-yard line. It's first down, Kansas City. Boy, Rutney was outstanding. He was hurt last week and did not play, which was a, really a blessing. He's, he's so up for this football game, you can't believe it. 16 yard gain by Wendell Hayes. The first play on the ground in the game for Kansas City. The Chiefs come out of the tight eye formation. That means Morris Stroud. The tight end is in the eye, and they run out of it, giving the Podolak, following Hayes' block off right tackle across the 35 and down to the 34 or 3 yard line, depending upon the spot. Good blocking by Wendell Hayes. Manny Fernandez made the stop. The gain is for four yards. It'll be second down and six yards to go. The cornerback for Miami, Tim Foley and Curtis Johnson. Jake got the free safety. He's an all-pro selection, beating out the chief Johnny Robinson this year. And Dick Anderson, brother of the Denver Bronco running back Bobby Anderson, is the strong safety. Again, the tight eye formation. They run on a quick count. Play action fake, rather, and it goes to Podolak. Dawson throws up the middle and complete. Otis Tater had to come back for the football. Thrown behind him and about the 22 of Miami, and he couldn't find the handle. The defender on the play was the linebacker, Bob Matheson. Well, it was a great call, and had Otis uh, not been a step past the ball, I'm sure he'd have caught it, but he leaned back into it, but not hold on. It brings up a, a big third down play at the 32. Some of the more affluent members of the Kansas City Chiefs fans have rented a helicopter and continue to circle over the stadium watching today's game, apparently unable to get a ticket. The win at the back of Len Dawson. As he sends Elmo right wide left and Otis Tater in the slot. Dawson rolling left. Has time. Good protection. Throws complete. Podolak at the Miami 25. And he gets it down to the 22-yard line. And he's met by a host of Dolphin tacklers. Led by Dick Anderson, a strong safety. Dick Scott was also over there. Along with Nick Guanacani and Curtis Johnson. Another first down for the Kansas City Chiefs. And a big play it was as Lenny rolled on that one. He's been going back into the pocket. But this is a way to take a little bit of that hard rush by Miami. He rolled off to the left. Tom Podolak in the open. Ten minutes and ten seconds to play. We're in the first quarter. The Dolphins received the opening kickoff and couldn't get a first down. The Chiefs took the punt and are now on the march. No score. The 11-yard gain on the play to Podolak. Again, the tight eyes. Stroud, Wendell Hayes, and Podolak shifting out of it now. Stroud comes tight up on the right side. Tater wide right and Elmo right wide left. Play action fake to Hayes. Dawson with time. Wants to throw. Looking in the end zone and overthrows Otis Tater who had beaten his man at about the goal line, but at the time Len Dawson threw the football, I really think he was just trying to throw it away because at that particular moment, Otis Tater wasn't wide open. Well, and another reason, uh, he had tremendous pressure on him. There were two men closing fast, and there was a possibility of him hitting and being uh, caught and perhaps fumbling, and as a result, threw the ball high enough that he wanted to get it back in the deep end of the end zone to keep from any, anybody from intercepting it. Second down on the Miami 22-yard line. 9.46 to play. First quarter, a nothing-nothing ball game. The Chiefs and the Dolphins. The first round of the playoffs in the American Conference at Municipal Stadium in Kansas City. Dick Carlson and Bill Grigsby bringing you the play-by-play -play action. Otis Tater wide right with Elmo right in the slot. 
Hayes and Kodalak are side by side the running backs. Stroud the tight end left. Long count Dawson. The give. Quick opener off right guard. The handoff Hayes across the 20 yard line. The fake is gone to Kodalak. Hayes the second man through. Big pick up all the way down to the Miami 17 yard line. And Nick Guanacani, the great middle linebacker for the Miami Dolphins, made the stop. A five yard pick up for Wendell Hayes. And it will be third down and five yards to go. Talking with Len Dawson before the ball game, he said first down would be critical for Kansas City in the ball game. They needed to pick up good yardage on first down and couldn't afford second and seven and second and eight situations. Elmo right, wide left, Tater wide to the right side, Stroud the tight end right, third down and five from the Miami 17-yard line. Long count by Len Dawson, 9.04 to go, second quarter, or rather first quarter, no score. Dawson being pressured, throwing incomplete. On the left side at the 15-yard line, intended for Ed Podolak, and Guadacani was with him all the way. And so Jan Stenerud comes on and is will be called upon for a field goal attempt of around 24 or 25 yards. It'll be right down the middle, no angle whatsoever, and a wind almost fully at Jan's back. The number one and two scorers in the American Conference, the kickers in the game today, Gero Yepremian for Miami, number one, with 117 points. And Jan Stenerud, number two, with 110 points. Dawson holding at the 24. The kick in the air. And it's good. And with eight minutes and 54 seconds to play in the first quarter, there's timeout on the field with the score. Kansas City, three. Miami, nothing. Great. Along with Hubie Ginn. And they switched just a moment ago on the opening kickoff. Morris was on the far side. And now they're shifting, and Morris goes back to the far side. He was on the near side. So they're definitely trying to confuse Stenerud to make sure that the ball gets kicked to Mick Mercury Morris. The kick by Stenerud, and it is angling toward Morris, but it's a deep one, eight yards in the end zone and out. And for the second consecutive time, with the win behind him, Stenerud has pulled it through the end zone, and Morris hasn't had a chance to get near the football. Back out to the 20-yard line, where just moments ago, the Dolphins were unsuccessful in three plays and had to punt. So far in the game, the Chiefs have two first downs and the Dolphins done. Three nothing. Chiefs lead. 8.50 to go. We're in the first quarter. Howard Quilly wide to the right side. Warfield split left. Kick and soft at the running back. Side by side. Fleming tight end left. Greasy long count at quarterback. DeMarco the center with one hand on the football. Snaps to Greasy. Hands to Sanka. Sweeping right. Hit by Bell at the 19-yard line. Bobby Bell. The left sideline Packer read the sweep beautifully. Shot up and there will be a loss of a foot or two. Caught it second down and about 11 yards to go and a great defensive play by Bobby Bell. It isn't often you see people make one-on-one -on -one tackles with Zonka and this time it was Bobby Bell who's one of the greatest. Bobby Bell who gets himself high for every ball game. A real pro. Warfield wide left and fully wide to the right side. Second down 11 at the 19. Greasy drops straight back. Looks for Warfield. Time count. Caught by Warfield. At the 39 and run out of bounds at the 43 yard line as he got behind Emmett Thomas and caught the ball over his shoulder. Thomas lost sight of the football for an instant and that's all Warfield needed. There's the first first down of the game for the that Miami was, Dolphins. That was a spot pass. He threw that ball a long time before Warfield even looked around. Warfield knew where the ball was going to be, turned around at the exact moment and made the catch. A great pass by Greasy. 24 yard gain. Warfield wide right and Crowley is in the slot. Fleming the tight end left. Sanka and kick the running back. First down at the Miami 43-yard line near hash mark. The handoff. Sanka, right guard, pulls his way across the 45, out to the 46, and with it on the air, Marvin Upshaw wrestling him down. Curly Kulp also there to help. The gain is out to the 46-and-a-half-yard line, so the gain will call for three, and it'll be second down in a short seventh. The wind really kicking up in the face of Bob Greasy, the Miami quarterback. Greasy, who completed 55.1% of his passes this year. Warfield wide left. Fully wide to the right side. Don Gun kick side by side, the running back. Long count again by Greasy. Play action fake to kick. Being pressured. Great pressure put on by Buchanan. Greasy throws for Warfield. Way, way overthrown at the Kansas City 25 as tremendous pressure was being put on by Buck Buchanan, Curdy Culp, and Aaron Brown. And while Warfield drops in from the pasture, let's identify our stations. This is the Kansas City Chief Network. ACMO, KFMU, Kansas City, Missouri. Happy holidays from the friendly folks at U.S. Mart, who bring you super discount prices on the choicest of the choice. USDA choice personally selected beef. 
U.S. Mark Super Discount Food. Well, there was a good indication about how you can beat and have to beat the Miami Dolphins, and it's all up front in that defensive line. You've got to keep the pressure on Greasy. Third down and seven. Warfield wide left, police split right. Fleming, the tight end, flexed the step or two off the right tackle. Long count. Upshaw, a little edgy, and he draws Fleming offside. Flags all over the place, and Greasy wanted to throw. Upshaw jumped off, but got back, and Mar Fleming jumped, and that will be a violation, I believe, against the Miami Dolphins. Certainly will. It'll be a five-yard mark. I'll put the ball back uh, inside the 45 and make it third and about 12, which uh, really gives you a little more yardage to work with and uh, raises the possibility of perhaps a blitz on Greasy. It will be interesting now to see what the Chiefs do defensively following the first penalty of the football game, five yards, back to the 41, the ball directly between the hash marks. The Chiefs did not blitz much this year, about 16% is all. Many teams blitz as much as 40 and 50%, like the Buffalo Bills. But the Chiefs have a great defensive line. Warfield wide left. Kick the wing back left. Fully wide right. The low running back is Sonka. He'll stay back to block as Greasy drops straight back. Wants to throw. Intercepted by Lanier. Across midfield. The 40. The 35. And he's down. By T. Little. The guard on the left side. The interception by Willie Lanier. And great pressure put on by Marvin Upshaw. Up the middle. Greasy threw the ball wildly up the middle. He had one receiver open. And it closed quickly. As three Chiefs converged. Interception, Kansas City. First down to Miami, 35. Timeout on the field with the score. With 7.13 to go in the first quarter, Chiefs 3, Dolphins nothing. And because he does not care anything about flying, but uh, his mother and sister, and they must be mighty happy after that great interception. Well, of course, Lanier, touted by many of the American Conference as being a better middle linebacker than Dick Buckus gets his third interception of the year. Right, wide left, Otis Taylor is in the slot. The ball at the Dolphin 35, I formation, Hayes and Podolak. Long count by Dawson on first down. The handoff, up the middle, a delay. Wendell Hayes fights his way across the 30 and down to the 26-yard line. Hayes had to be hit five or six times near the line of scrimmage. Fought his way from all four or five or six of those tacklers all the way down to the Miami 26-yard line. A nine-yard gain. It'll be second and one. Finally, Jim Riley made the tackle for Miami. He resembled the ball on the pinball machine as he bounced off people. And already today, Wendell has, has indicated his great desire. He has a total of 32 yards and three carries. Elbow right, wide left on second and one. The kind of down that Dawson wanted today. Will he throw? Will he gamble? Taylor in the slot left. Hayes and Podolak side by side. The running back. Handoff up the middle. Same play. Hayes across the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. Nick Guanacani making the tackle for the Dolphins. First down, Kansas City Chiefs. Their third first down of the football game. The Chiefs offense has been explosive. And the defense has been superb so far in the football game. 6.08 to play. We're in the first quarter, and the Chiefs lead 3 to nothing. The Dolphins made a change on the defensive line. Bob Hines goes out, and Frank Corny, number two behind Hines, comes in. That was the weak spot on the last couple of plays. Cornish, of course, is bumped around. He was drafted by the Chicago Bears. Put on waivers a couple of times and ended up in Miami. First down. At the 19-yard line of Miami, the handoff. Podolak over right guard, gets a couple yards down to about the 17-yard line, but that'll be about as far as he goes as Nick Bonacani again makes the stop. Clock counting, 5.34 to go. We're in the first quarter at Municipal Stadium in Kansas City. Playoff football, the Chiefs and the Dolphins. Earlier today in the National Conference, the Dallas Cowboys beat the Minnesota Vikings 20-12. to The National Conference Championship game will be in Dallas next Sunday, a week from tomorrow. Elbow right, wide left. Otis Tater, wide right. Stroud, Morris Stroud, the tight end, is left. Second down, about eight yards to go. The delay, handoff. Hayes gets his way across the 15-yard line, dances down to the 14, possibly the 13-yard line. Bill Stanfield made the tackle. Again, great running by Wendell Hayes, who really had not much of a hole at all to run through. Got it down to the 14-yard line, however. It's about a five-yard gain, second and rather third down, and five yards to go. On third down, the Chiefs have gotten the first down once out of two times so far in the ball game. 
Wendell Hayes comes up with the wing back on the left side with Elmo right, wide left. Otis Tater, wide right. Dawson in trouble, throwing up the middle, incomplete. Intended for Otis Tater at the five-yard line. A quick look in for Otis. And he was being covered by Nick Buonacani. There are flags in the play, however, at the 18-yard line. And the walk-off is against the Miami Dolphins. And it's against Buonacani. He was offside, I believe. He was the first man in the backfield. He was there almost before the ball was uh, thrown. It looked like uh, he was going to be able to get to Dawson as they had the blitz on. But there is going to be a penalty. It's going to be so close that the officials go over to look it over. It's, uh, it'll make it short of a first down by maybe... Uh, three three or four inches it'll be short of a first down when they place the ball down so it's third down and about three inches to go for the first down and it's a big penalty against Miami offside the second penalty against the Dolphins totaling 10 yards both have been offside penalties one against the offense now one against the defense now here's the kind of play where if he chose Len Dawson could gamble just a little bit more than likely, however, he will go for the first down, keep the ball on the ground, and avoid any chance of a mistake and have first down and goal. We'll see. Elmo right, wide left, and Otis Tater is in the slot. Hayes and Podolacker side by side. Strouds the tight end on the right side. The line set. Dawson on the long cap. Eyes the defense. Turns. Hands off. Up the middle. It's Wendell Hayes. First down. All the way down to the seven-yard line. Great blocking up the middle. Jack Rudney and Mo Mormon. First down, goal to go, Kansas City. The fourth first down of the game for the Chiefs. Jim Otis hustles out on the field for the Chiefs. And has a play for Len Dawson as they stand and confer in the huddle at the 18. And coming out of the game is Wendell Hayes. And Wendell gets a great hand. I was hoping someone would leave the field. <laughs> Well, those that can go back to an Orange Bowl game and those who are Kansas fans know it can happen. The tight eye with Stroud, the tight end in the eye. Dawson dropping back, wants to throw, first and goal, complete, total act, right side, 12-5, touchdown! That total act was untouched as he went into the end zone. Officially, it'll be a seven-yard touchdown pass. A great block from Jack Rudney, and the Chiefs lead, nine to nothing. Well, that was a big one, too. You need the touchdown to get out of touchdown range of Miami with three minutes and 29 seconds remaining here in the, I guess it's the, the, is it the half or the first period? First period. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I'm a little bit carried away today. Two, 3.29 left to go in the first period. The Chiefs lead nine nothing. Center will attempt the extra point from the 10-yard line with Dawson holding. The snap will come from Bobby Bell. It's low, the kick is in the air, and it's good. And the Chiefs now have a 10 to nothing lead with 3.29 to go in the first quarter, and that scoring drive covered 35 yards in six plays following that great interception by William Lanier and the elapsed time of the drive, three minutes and 45 seconds. But Dick, it makes it a different football game. Now the pressure is indeed on Miami as they've fallen down by, fallen behind by uh, 10 points. We're still in the first period. Of course, there's lots of football time left. And with an explosive offense like Miami's, anything can happen. But it, again, you go back to a strong defense perhaps is the best offense. And it was Willie Lanier who once again uh, uh, brought this uh, to this big crowd's attention as he stepped in front of the receiver, intercepted, and ran the ball back to the 35. So uh, I think you'll see a lot of pressure from the front four. This is what makes interceptions when you have those four big guys up front. They've all been healthy. Buck Buchanan, Curly Culp, Aaron Brown, and Marv Upshaw. Unbelievable the year they've been having together. And if you constantly uh, harass that quarterback, Greasy, you'll force him out of the pocket. You'll force him into mistakes. And thus far, he has been forced into one. So now Jan Stenerud's ready to kick off with the Chiefs down in front, 10 and nothing. Well, again, as I mentioned earlier, talking to Dawson before the game, he said the one thing you couldn't afford to do was commit fumbles or throw interceptions early in this ball game, and that's exactly what the Dolphins have done. Ginn and Morris are the deep men. It's a wobbly kick. It goes to the goal line and bounces through the end zone. As Mercury Morris couldn't get there to field it, it was a wobbly, knuckleballing kind of a kick that hit it about the one and bounded through the end zone. So for the third time, the Dolphins are starting on their own 20-yard line. And now the Chiefs' offensive domination in the quarter begins to show. The Chiefs have run 16 plays in Miami 9. 
Both teams, of course, have had experience in playoffs before. It was the Dolphins who beat the Chiefs out of that fourth playoff spot last year. Warfield, wide left, fully wide right. It's an eye formation with Larry Sock and Jim Kick. Kick goes in motion left. It's a left tackle. Rather, the tight end, Mar Fleming, jumps offside. Flags all over the place. The handoff was to Sonka, but don't worry about it because it'll all come back. Marv Fleming, who jumped offside once before when he was pulled offside in a move by Marvin Upshaw, was the man who got a little edgy on this one. And if it's jitters in a playoff game, he's the last guy you'd figure would have it. He played in a couple of Super Bowls for the Green Bay Packers. Anytime you start looking at uh, a pot of gold that has $25,000 in it, I think even the old veterans sometimes uh, might uh, have their moments when they, they have trouble containing their enthusiasm. Make your palms wet and your mouth dry. <laughs> and a, a big lump that comes up. <laughs> Paul Warfield is wide left and Howard Twilley wide right. First down and 15. All three penalties against the Dolphins have been offsides and fractions. Breezy a long count as Jim Lynch stunts in from the right linebacker spot. Handoff kick, slants off right tackle, gets it out to the 20-yard line, and he's hit there by Marvin Upshaw and also by Jim Marcellus. Willie Lanier there also to make sure Kick has no ideas of getting any more yardage. So the gain is to about the 20 and a half yard line. Gain of about five. It'll be second down and just under 10 yards to go for the Dolphins. The ball just over their own 20 yard line between the hash marks. Howard Twilley wide right and Paul Warfield is split left. Fleming the tight end lined up on the right side. Kick and Sonka side by side. Greasy again a long count. Eyes the chief defense and out front with a nose man. Curly Culp on the center. Handoff kick. Sweeping right. The old power sweep. Gets it to the 30-yard line. And that's as far as he goes because that's there where he runs into Willie Lanier. Very near the first down. The only thing now is where they spot the football. And they spot it belly over the 30-yard line. So that will be a Miami first down. Willie said the other day that, of course, in his rookie year, he was injured. had a head injury. He used to tackle with his head. He was knocked out for 45 minutes in one game. He said, Bill, I've had to change my style. I don't use my head in tackling, and by that I mean physically I don't use it. Just use the shoulder. He sure uses his head in calling those defenses, though. The general on the field for the Kansas City defense. Warfield is in the slot left with Twilly wide to the left side. Hand off. Sanka tries the middle across the 30 and just pulls his way out to the 33 or 4 yard line carrying three Chiefs with him. Bobby Bell, Willie Lanier, and Jim Lynch. All three of the Kansas City linebackers. The gain is for about four yards so it'll be second down and six. A minute 38 to play in the first quarter. 10-0. Chiefs lead. While it's Christmas Day for all of us, for Larry Saka and Howard Frilly, it's happy birthday today. Larry Saka is 25 and Howard Frilly is 28. Frilly takes his birthday present wide to the right side. And Paul Warfield wide left, kick in motion right. Saka gets the ball, right tackle, gets it out to about the 38 or 39-yard line. It'll be short by about a yard. And Jim Kearney is there with Willie Lanier to make the tackle for Kansas City. So it brings up third down and just a little bit more than a yard to go. The ball on the hash mark, far side at the 39-yard line. The Dolphins have yet to convert a third down into a first down in this football game. They've tried twice. Clock continues to move with 52 seconds to play in the first quarter. No wide receivers. Warfield, the wing back on the right side. It's a double tight end. Long count by Bob Greasy as one of the middlemen in that Chiefs defensive front. Looked like he may have leaned offside, and there's flags on the play. The play, I believe, would have been short of the first down, too, as the handoff was to Jim Kick, just yep. barely over the 40-yard line. It's actually a first down, but uh, I'm sure they'll take the penalty anyway because there would be no doubt about it in that case. But he didn't get the first down, so if you're feeling bad about the penalty, really uh, don't feel that bad because they would have had it anyway. I believe it was Kearney Culp who was the nose man on the center who got just a little bit anxious and leaned forward with his helmet over the football. Probably whis uh, whispered something nice in Bob DeMarco's ear. Something light, nice like don't look up after you snap the football or watch out for my forearm or I used to be an NCAA wrestling champion. Paul Warfield, wide left, Howard Fully, wide to the right side. First down of the Dolphins, 44. Greasy, under pressure from Buchanan, throwing. Warfield, complete. 
down to the 30-yard line of Kansas City, dancing back, going to the center of the field, the 25. Hit by Lanier, still on his feet, hit by Lanier again and down to the 21-yard line. Warfield caught the ball at about the 33-yard line and the near sideline, danced away from a couple of people, made a move back to the inside, and was finally brought down at the 21-yard line and the near hash mark. I couldn't believe the one official on this side. He went down and marked the place he thought the, tw uh, <laughs> the Warfield had stepped out of bounds, where it looked from up here like he had. And then he started following the play. An unbelievable uh, call by number 35, the official out on the field, Leo Miles. We well, that's the end of the first quarter, and we'll be back with the second quarter of action in a moment with the score, Kansas City 10 and the Dolphins nothing. Dickinson dominated the early part of this football game and lead 10 to nothing as Miami prepares to put the ball in play. 35-yard gain for Paul Warfield and Bob Greasy on the play, and they have their deepest penetration, the Kansas City 21. Warfield is split left and Howard Philly split right. Shaka and Kick are the running backs side by side, and Mara Fleming, the tight end, lined up on the right side. Another long count by Bob Greasy, the quarterback, as there's a hush in the stadium. The handoff, Saka sweeping left. Has a block, but Aaron Brown reads the block and wraps Saka up at the 20-yard line. Saka turns around and checks the numbers on Aaron Brown's chest to make sure he doesn't run into that man again. 87, Larry. Emmett Thomas was also over there to help take out the interference. The gain is for a yard at second down and nine, just inside the Kansas City 20-yard line. 10 to nothing, the Chiefs have the lead. The Dolphins are marching. 14 minutes and 25 seconds to play in the first half. Howard Putty, wide right, has yet to have a ball thrown at him today. Paul Warfield is split left. Saka and kick the running back. Quicker count this time, Greasy back to throw. Has a little time, now rolls out of the pocket. Rolling right, throws, complete. Marv Fleming at the five-yard line. And he's down to the four as he's hit and upended by Jim Kearney and a great bit of scrambling by Bob Greasy and a great pattern being run by Marv Fleming on the play as he got a step open on the tight end safety Jim Kearney at about the six, caught the ball at the five, fell down at the four, and it's first down and goal to go, Miami. You're right, it was a scrambling that paid off, and Greasy's a great one for it as the front four of the Chiefs had a great rush on him. And he just moved out to the right and spotted Fleming for the big gainer and the first down of the four. The fifth first down for Miami. Each team now has five. Warfield is a wing back on the right side. There's a double tight end. Kick and Saka are the running backs. No wide receivers on the play. Kick with the handoff. Five left guard. Gets it across the five and the four. Down to the three and possibly the two-yard line. We'll wait for them to unpile. The lead blocked by Bob Kuchenberg, the offensive guard. The tackle made by Aaron Brown and by Willie Lanier. Mark the football at the three, so it's a gain of one. Second down and goal to go from the three-yard line. And the Kansas City defense that has held in situations like this before is called upon to do it again. Paul Warfield is foot left, the lone wide receiver. The double tight end is Jim Manich on the right side and Marv Fleming on the left side. Play action fake to kick. Looking in the end zone and throwing incomplete, but we'll have a flag on the play. Meyer Fleming jumps to his feet complaining about a pass interference, and that's exactly what the call will be against Jim Kearney, the strong safety who did not do it intentionally, but it makes no difference. He tripped Meyer Fleming in the end zone. And it's a big play as far as Miami is concerned. It will bring up first down and goal to go from the one-yard line. Actually, Jim had turned around to see where the ball was, and Fleming had stopped, and he just ran up his back. And unfortunately, whether it's accidental or not, it's interference. It sets mine, but for the first and goal, it's the one which makes it tough from this spot in. 12.40 to play in the second quarter. Chiefs 10, Dolphins nothing. Double tight end with Mandich and Fleming. Kick and soft of the running back. Warfield, the wing back on the right side. Greasy hands it off. Saka up the middle. Touchdown. The Miami Dolphins have put some points on the board as they convert from the one-yard line. Saka up the middle for the touchdown. And now with 12.38 to play in the half, it is Chiefs 10 and Miami 6. And Gerald Yepremian comes in the game for the extra point. Gerald Yepremian, who's a left-footed kicker. Soccer style from Cyprus, who played soccer in both Cyprus and in England. Spent some time on the Detroit Lions cab squad before going to Miami last year. 
puts it right down the middle, and there's time out on the field with 12 minutes and 38 seconds to play in the half and the score. Kansas City 10, Miami 7. The Fulton Miami offense has put seven points on the board with 12.38 left to go in the first half. The Chiefs leading 10 to 7, and your premium will kick off. The scoring drive went 80 yards in nine plays and took five minutes and 45 seconds off the clock. Your premium kicks it deep, angling it through the uprights and over the end zone. It hit right at the back line, and Warren McVay and Ed Kodalak stood there and watched it hit as they had no chance at all to run it out. And the Chiefs will have it on their own 20-yard line. And we've seen some great kicking from both Yepremian and Stenaru this afternoon. Of course, everybody figured that it could come down to those two fellas in a game like this. So now, with the offensive momentum swung around to the Miami side, Len Dawson comes back on the field, and the Chiefs have a 10-7 lead. The Chiefs, of course, would very much like to put more points on the board in this kind of a situation and take some of the edge off that great 80-yard touchdown drive of Bob Greasy and the Miami Dolphins. Tight eye formation, Stroud, Hayes, and Podolak. Handoff, Hayes, right tackle across the 20, gets it out to the 23, maybe the 24-yard line before he runs into the linebacker on the left side, Doug Swift. Mark it at the 24, so it's a four-yard gain for Wendell Hayes. And Wendell is having a great afternoon, seven carries for 49 yards. Fine crowd for today's game in excess of 50,000 at Municipal Stadium, Kansas City. Elmo right is wide left. Otis Tater in the slot. Stroud the tight end right. I formation. Hayes and Podolak. Second down and six at the 24 of the Chiefs. Handoff. Hayes trying right guard across the 25 and out to about the 26-yard line. But that will be as far as he can go as he runs right into the bulky Frank Cornish. Cornish, by the way, has tremendous size. At one time, he weighed well over... 300 pounds, but right now, Cornish weighs in at about 285. They call Cornish popcorn, and the reason they call him popcorn is because he likes to eat it. What else would you do with it? Throw it. <laughs> Drink it? I don't know. Sell it. <laughs> Let somebody else eat it. Okay. Elbow right, wide left. Otis Tater is in the slot. Third down and about five yards to go. Play action fake. Now the handoff. Podolak on a delay. Across the 30. Has the first down. Out to the 31 or 32-yard line. Good play. The fake was to Wendell Hayes. Dawson moved the ball up to his shoulder after the fake like he wanted to throw. And then gave it to Podolak on the delay off right guard. And he got it all the way out to the 32-yard line where Bob Matheson made the stop for the Dolphins. But not before Podolak had the first down. The sixth of the game for Kansas City. Three carries, 12 yards in the game for Ed Podolak. So the running game has been successful thus far in the game for the Kansas City Chiefs. 10 minutes, 30 seconds to play in the half. 10-7, Chiefs lead the Dolphins. Tight eye formation, Stroud, Hayes, and Podolak. Stroud shifts out of the eye and comes up tight left. Tater wide right, Elmo right is split left. Long count by Dawson as he eyes an even front. Comes back, pumps to the left, throws to the right. The screen is set for Podolak. A block from Rudnick. 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, and down. In the Miami 39-yard line. Great blocking out in front. The big one was from Jack Rudnick. Another block from Mo Mormon and Elmo Wright through a block also. The gain all the way to the Miami 39-yard line. First down, Kansas City. A 29-yard gain for Ed Podolak. And a beautiful fake by Dawson on the play. He set it up perfectly. Podolak needed one more step and he's gone. It looked for a moment like he might have enough to get away, but a fine tackle at the last moment stopped him at the 39. Seven first downs in the game for the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Chiefs are driving right back at the Dolphins following the Dolphins' 80-yard touchdown drive. 10-7, to seven, the Chiefs lead. 9.25 to play in the first half. Remains under house arrest. Pass was probably held up a little bit by the wind. Now Air Force to kick. Seipel had the wind at his back and got a lot of uh, foot in it. And the Chiefs will start again from their own 39 with 6.57 remaining in the first half of play. Kansas City holding on to a 10-7 lead. And obviously we got two great defensive teams here today and two outstanding offensive uh, organizations able to move the football. The ball is at the Kansas City 39-yard line. 
While we have an opportunity, welcome a couple of new stations on the network this week. KSTP in Minneapolis, St. Paul joining us following that Minnesota-Dallas game. And, of course, the fine station KMOX in St. Louis. Shifting out of the tight eye, Morris Stroud comes up on the left side. Elmo right, wide left. Otis Stater wide right. Eye formation now with Hayes and Podolak. Podolak following Hayes' block. Off left tackle has room. 45, 50, 45, 40, 35. Hit and down by Dick Anderson at the Miami 29-yard line. Dick Anderson is a strong safety, and he had to run Podolak down from behind, who was trying to follow the block of Dave Hill. The offensive right tackle who got out in front of him to lead the blocking. A 32-yard gain. Another big block also thrown by Ed Buddy on the play and Mo Mormon also. So a very big play for Kansas City. And another block by Elmo Wright who made a great uh, block coming around this side. Outstanding on his part. He was shaken up a little bit on the block. But it helped spring Podolak on a big gainer to the 29. Eight first downs for Kansas City. Tight eye formation, handoff, Wendell Hayes right up the middle as they ran out of the tight eye, down to the 25-yard line. And the tackle made by Frank Cornish at the gain of four, it's second down and six yards to go. And Bill, there's just no question that the Chiefs offense has been able to move quite well against the Miami defense this afternoon. They have, and uh, most of it's been on the ground or short screens, things like that, where they've uh, had to come up with good blocking. The blocking has been crisp, it's been... Uh, Strong and uh, Lenny has come up with some fine calls. And much of the running has been right up the middle over some great blocking by the center Jack Rudney. Again, the tight eye. The pitch out. Podolak sweeping right. Follows the block from Wendell Hayes. Across the 25. Makes a great move inside. Down the 22-yard line. There's a flag down right where the tackle occurred. The tackle made by Bill Stansville. The clip on the Kansas City Chiefs at the 20-yard line, and that will hurt. That'll put us back near the 35. So that's a tough break. It's only going to mark it from about the 23, they say, where the clip occurred. So that puts it back out to the 38, and Kansas City must start once again at second and long yardage. It'll be second and about almost 20 yards to go. So it's a tough call. They've marked the football at the 37, so the clipping penalty was marked off from the 22. It's second down and 23 yards to go. Or correct me, uh, second down and 18 yards to go. The Chiefs are moving from our right to our left and into a 16-mile-an-hour wind. Again, the tight eye with Stroud, Hayes, and Podolak. And again, they run out of it. This time, the reverse does go to Elmo Wright. 35, 30, leaps over one man and gets it down to the 26 or 7-yard line. It's the same play the Chiefs ran a moment ago, except the triple fake and the throw that was intercepted by Curtis Johnson came off the same formation. This time, it was not a triple fake. On the third fake, they instead gave to Elmo Wright. Big blocking in front from Mo Mormon. And I also might add Ed Buddy, who pulled on that side. And Elmo Wright carries for the second time this year and picks up good yardage. The last person I saw really perform that triple fake on Christmas Day was my Uncle Charlie with a big plate of turkey. I'm sure Elmo put on a few more moves than Uncle Charlie. A 10-yard gain. Again, the tight eye. And this time, again, the reverse to Elmo Wright on his feet. A big block, 25, and down to the 22-yard line. The block came from Dave Hill. His elbow right was trapped back at the 32-yard line. Hill came back and threw a very big block, allowing Elmo to get a little room down the right alley. And the gain is all the way down to the Miami 22-yard line. It's about two and a half yards short of the first down. It'll be fourth down. And Jan Stenerud is in the game to attempt the field goal from the 30-yard line. It's into the wind. Right into the wind from the far hash mark with a slight angle. 10 to 7, Chiefs lead. 3.57 to play in the first half, and the clock is moving. Bobby Bell over center will snap. We wait. High snap. Placement by Dawson. Kick in the air. No good. No good. No indication whether it was wide to the right or left, and we have a poor angle to see, but I believe it was wide to the right. And so, there is timeout on the field with the ball coming back out to the 20. 3.45 to play in the half, and the score, Chiefs 10, Dolphins 7. Schlitz. Little quarterback Bob Greasy, running back Larry Sonka, defensive end Bill Stanfield, safety Jake Scott, and kickoff return specialist Eugene Mercury Morris. 
Willie, wide right. First down, Dolphins on their own 20. Warfield split left. Greasy wants to throw, does. Up the middle, incomplete. Warfield wide open at the 35-yard line. Is the most embarrassed man in pro football right now as he dropped it in front of 51,000 people. He took his eye off the ball. He looked to see where the secondary was. And the ball was perfectly thrown. It would have been a big gainer. Both teams very even now in the number of plays that they have run. The Chiefs 27 and Miami 23. Fully wide to the right side and Warfield is wide left. Sanka and kick side by side the running back. Strong right with Fleming the tight end. Greasy back to throw. Loops one out. Complete kick. The second leading receiver on the Dolphins is hit from behind and spun down by Willie Lanier at the 27 or 28 yard line depending upon the spot of the football by the official. It is short of the first down however by at least a couple of yards. Third and two. Mark it at the 28. It's third down and two. Kick is one of the favorite targets of quarterback Bob Greasy. Warfield, the number one receiver on the team, and Kick is number two. Counting his rushing and his receiving, Kick went over 1,000 yards in offense this year. Twilly wide right. Warfield is wide left, running the tight end left. Saka and Kick about three or four steps apart, side by side in the backfield. It's an even front. Nobody knows on the center. Greasy wants to throw quickly for Warfield. Complete 35 and out of bounds by Emma Thomas at the 39-yard line. That'll be a first down for the Miami Dolphins. Emma Thomas, no question about it, is being awfully, awfully wary of Paul Warfield and playing off of him just a little bit. Greasy taking advantage on that quick play. Otto Stowe comes in the game in place of Howard Twilley. The number one draft choice of the Miami Dolphins from Iowa State. Wide receiver seeing his first action in the game in the regular unit. 12-yard gain on that play, by the way, to Warfield. First down of the Dolphins, 39. Warfield, the lone wide receiver, is split left. Otto Stowe is tied up on the right side, although he is a wide receiver. It's an eye formation. The pitch out is to kick with Sanka blocking, and he tries to get the block on Bobby Bell, who actually comes over the block and upends Jim Kick at the 42-yard line. A fine defensive play by Bobby Bell. Marsalis came up to help, but it was really Bobby Bell who not only stacked up the block, but also made the tackle. Block continues to move with 2.29 to play in the half. 10-7, Chief lead. Bob DeMarco comes up over center. It's an eye formation with Sanka and kick. Warfield split left. Again, Otto Stowe tied up on the right side. This time, Curly Culp is the nose man over center. It's an odd formation. Handoff. Sanka right up the middle across the 45 and out to the 46-yard line. And that's where he ran in to Jim Lynch and Willie Lanier. Willie Lanier and Jim Lynch on the tackle. And the two-minute warning now will be given to both benches following that game that makes it third and two. And with timeout on the field, two minutes to play in the half to score. It's Chiefs 10, Dolphins 7. Well, we got to hold him now with the ball at the 47-yard line of the Dolphins. Third down and two to go. A critical third down play. Chiefs lead 10 to 7. Two minutes straight up left to go in the first half. The two helmets are painted at the center of the field, and where the football rests is right at the nose of the Dolphin on the Miami helmet. So the Dolphin controls the football at the 47, directly between the hash marks at third and two. Well, that's really reaching, isn't it? <laughs> Otto Stowe is wide right. Paul Warfield, wide left, third and two. Greasy through in this situation last time. Kick and Sonka side by side. The running back, long count. It's an even front with nobody. Knows on the center this time. Greasy does want to throw. No, he was going to do the quarterback draw, and he's hit for a loss. Back at the 43 or 4 yard line, Curly Culp came in and read the play beautifully, and Buck Buchanan wrapped him up. It looked like Greasy was going to just run the quarterback draw. He dropped back three, four steps, set the throw, and then started to run, possibly because he saw the great rush. But not only do they fail on third down, but take themselves well out of any possible field goal range for Garrow Yepremian, even with the great win behind them. And Larry Seifel is in the punt for the third time. He has two kicks, 31 and 42 yards. The deep man, Podolak, at the Kansas City 12. The kick away by Seifel. Podolak looks for the interference. He'll run it back from the six-yard line, going right. Hit from behind, and he's down at about the six- or seven-yard line. We'll have to wait and see now where the official marks the ball. 
The tackle is credited to Jim Langer, who lost his helmet on the play. It's a 50-yard punt by Larry Seipel. Mark it down at the Kansas City 8-yard line. So with a minute and 34 seconds to play, and the Chiefs moving into the wind, they are deep in their own territory with their worst field position of the football game. And at this stage, the Chiefs may like to run off some of that time because they are in critical position. And with a minute 25, clock still moving on their own uh, seven or eight yard line. They lead 10 to seven. They would not want to make a, a big mistake here. High formation, Hayes and Podolak. Elmo right, wide left, and Pater in the slot. Morris Stroud, the tight end right. The pitch out to Podolak, sweeping right. A big flag from way, way back as Podolak sweeps right and across the five-yard line, back out to about the eight or nine where he's bumped out of bounds. But the flag was thrown by the downfield official as he really whipped it in. It's a holding call against the Chiefs in the secondary. I believe it, it looked like uh, perhaps it was Morris uh, Stroud who was up into that secondary. That would be the indication. With a minute seven to go in the half, the penalty would put the ball back near the four-yard line, and it is a still a first down, of course, with a minute seven to go, but both teams still have all their time out. The conversation continues, and I would... Uh, uh, they're going to take it. They'll move it back to the four, figuring that that's the bad field position will hurt Kansas City even more at the four-yard line. It's still first down. And, of course, a minute seven, and as you pointed out, Bill, both teams still have all three of their timeouts, and it's in this situation you might expect the Dolphins to start calling some of their timeouts with the possibility of getting the football back in position for at least a shot at a Gary Premium field goal. I think they'll start calling them, but I'm surprised they didn't take the play because that way Kansas City would only have had two more downs before kicking. On the four-yard line, elbow right, wide left with Otis Tater in the slot, in the eye, and in the end zone, Wendell Hayes and Ed Podolak. Podolak up the middle, across the five, the ten, fumbles the football, and it's picked up at the 13-yard line, and I believe they'll call it, they do. It is a fumble, and it's a recovery by the Miami Dolphins. And again, talking about critical mistakes before the ball game with Len Dawson, he singled out the interceptions and the fumbles, and a fumble that deep in Kansas City territory at the 13-yard line is a critical mistake. And the Dolphins have called the first of their three timeouts to stop the clock. The ball is between the hash marks at the Kansas City 13, and at worst, the Dolphins could almost expect to come out with a tie game at halftime. The well, Chiefs lead 10-7. That's uh, the hazard of handing the ball off or doing anything with it inside your own 10-yard line, but of course you've got to do something with it, obviously. On this particular play, uh, Ed tried to go up the middle. There was some hard tackling. Somebody jarred the ball loose, and they, they rolled around for what seemed like a lifetime. We kept hoping we'd see a red jersey around it, but all, um, all dolphin-colored uh, jerseys, and finally one of their uh, alert defenders picked it up at the 12. Now, of course, it's important here that you either try to force them into a mistake on by the Dolphins, but now the fumble with the football between the 12 and 13 yard line puts the Dolphins in great position to do something. Dick Anderson, the strong safety, is the man credited with recovering that fumble by Ed Podolak. First and 10 at the 12 yard line. Howard Twilley back in the game is wide right, and Paul Warfield is split left. Saka and kick the running backs. Greasy wants to throw, looks for Warfield. Time count, complete to Warfield at the Kansas City 8. The clock continues to move with 53 seconds now to play in the half. Emma Thomas made the play defensively, and that was a real gamble on a time count by Greasy because Emma Thomas turned an instant too late to make a play for the football, and he turned an instant sooner. He would have had a shot and an interception with nobody in front of him. Clock continues to move. The Dolphins do not call the timeout to stop it. They have two remaining, 27 seconds to play. Howard 20 wide right. Greasy back, wants to throw, looks for the end zone for Twilly, overthrows him in the end zone. Way, way overthrown as he tried to roll around to Jim Marsalis in the end zone, but the ball thrown very, very deep in the end zone, and Marsalis did a great job of putting the hammer on Howard Twilly before that football was thrown and delaying him in the pattern just an instant. And Jim Lynch put it to Bob Greasy as he made great uh, contact with Greasy to knock him down just as he released the ball. In fact, he might have hit him just as he was throwing him because the ball was overthrown. So third, this is a big play right here, Dick. Third down and about five for the first down and about seven for the touchdown. 
Howard Twilly, wide right, Paul Warfield, split left. The clock stopped on the incompletion, 20 seconds to go in the half. 10-7, Chiefs have the lead. Greasy, the quarterback, dropping back, has a block from kick, throwing up the middle, incomplete. Nearly intercepted at the goal line. And diving in front of Howard Twilly, the intended receiver, was Jimmy Marsalis, and there's a player injured for the Chiefs at the three-yard line. I think it's Johnny. Johnny, he's uh, very slow to move. He's there with Bobby Yarborough and Wayne, and now he's being helped from the field. The strike is, strike is uh, right leg. The Chiefs, of course, have called timeout so that Johnny Robinson could get as much attention from the team trainer and doctor as he needed. And is now being held from the field. Kerry Reardon, the rookie from Iowa, has come in the game at free safety in place of Robinson. Reardon got quite an opportunity to see game action against Buffalo last Sunday. And the first real chance he's had to play free safety all year long in place of Johnny Robinson. And now, as it would turn out, and we, of course, hope there's nothing seriously wrong with Johnny. But that experience that Kerry got last Sunday against the Buffalo Bills could be a big factor. Robinson still is not off the field as they are now just leaving the field at the 50-yard line. And so Yepremian will attempt his field goal, far hash mark from the 14-yard line, with 16 seconds to play in the half. It's 10-7, the Chiefs lead. The placement, the kick, it's in the air, and it is good. And so with 13 seconds to play in the half, the game has been tied by the Miami Dolphins at 10-10. And so when the second half begins, barring any spectacular play in the final 13 seconds here of the first half, it'll be a brand new football game. Only one, I think, is one of them as Frank is getting ready to serve uh, Turkey here <laughs> at halftime to uh, Preston and uh, Eddie and uh, his whole gang over there. Gee, they <laughs> a while. Santa Claus made an appearance before the game today and was asked to make a couple of announcements as to who he thought should get the Christmas Day victory, and it was like he was running for national office. He said, may the best team win. <laughs> Elbow right, wide left, Otis Tater, wide right, Hayes and Podolak, side by side, the running backs, and Dawson back, wants to throw, loops it out in a lateral to Hayes, at 35, the 40, and he's down at about the 43-yard line, and that is the last play of the first half, as Dawson finishes with five out of eight for about 60 yards in passing. The end of the first half with a score, Chiefs 10, Dolphins 10. We'll be back in a moment on the Kansas City Chiefs Football Network. No question, the Chiefs have moved the ball on offense quite well. The only time their drives have stopped, once on a fumble, once on an interception, and once on a missed field goal, and the other two times on scoring plays, a touchdown and a field goal. So offensively, the Chiefs really have had no problems other than getting the ball in the end zone. Defensively, only one scoring drive of 80 yards mars the afternoon for the defensive unit, and in that it was really a questionable big play, a pass from Greasy to Warfield that was the big play in the drive. So the defense has played quite well. Their running game, the Dolphin running game, has not been that good this afternoon, and the only real potent weapon Bob Greasy has had offensively has been his passes to Paul Warfield, who's been working mostly one-on-one -on -one with Emma Thomas, both in the zone and the man-to-man. -man. In the zone, Warfield has been running those down-and-out patterns into Thomas's zone, and Thomas has been playing off of him just a little bit. So that really has been the factor, and we'll see what adjustment these two teams make as the Chiefs prepare to receive here the opening kickoff of the second half from Gary Yepremian. Podolak and McVeigh are in the end zone. The kick away by Yepremian. Podolak at the one-yard line will run it out. Up the left side, 10, the 15, to the middle, the 20, the 25, and he's hit there, and he's down at the 25-yard line by Vern Den Herter, a defensive end, a rookie from Central College of Iowa. So the Chiefs, with good field position at their own 25-yard line, are back at offense, a 10-10 tie as we get the second half underway. And I might point out, Bill, in the fourth quarter it will be significant. The Chiefs are moving against the wind here in the third quarter. They'll have the wind if they're back in the fourth quarter. But the wind is beginning to die down. Didn't mean to catch you with your Christmas dinner in your mouth there. 
Tight eye formation. Stroud shifts out of the tight eye as the tight end of the right side. Tater wide right, elbow right, wide left. Dawson is back, loops it out. Wendell Hayes completed the 20. Hit from behind, and he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no farther than that, as he was hit from behind by Bill Stanfield and also by Jim Riley. A loss of a yard is the official mark, and so it's second down and 11. And again, Len Dawson goes to his offensive back as an offensive primary pass receiver. In the first half, Podolak caught four passes for 52. Wendell Hayes, one for seven. And now after his second reception, his yardage has gone down to six with the loss of that yard. Len Dawson's passing statistics, six out of 10 for 58 yards. He's been intercepted once. Again, the shift out of the tight eye. Stroud to the right side. Tater wide right. Elmo right, wide left. Dawson, play action fake to Podolak. He wants to throw. Throws as he's hit. And it's incomplete. Intended for Morris Stroud at the 43-yard line. Stroud went up in the air, and I thought he was going to catch the football, and it just zipped right by him. He never touched it. Dick Anderson defending, but good pressure being put on by Manny Fernandez of that front line, and he really smacked Dawson after he got rid of the football. So Morris Stroud comes out, and Willie Frazier is coming in as the tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. Frazier went the entire route against the Buffalo Bills last week at tight end as Stroud was nursing a bruised elbow. And Stroud being called out with Frazier in. It's third down and 11. High formation, tight eye with Frazier shifting out of the eye, coming up tight right. Tater wide right, elbow right, wide left, side by side. Wendell Hayes and Ed Podolak. The fake up the middle to Hayes. Dawson throws under pressure up the middle. Complete elbow right. Caught the football at the 39, and that's where they'll mark it down. First down, Kansas City. Jim Tyrer threw the big block in the pass protection that allowed Len Dawson that extra split second to find Elmo open on the curl at the 39. First down, Kansas City. The ninth first down for the Chiefs in the ball game. And a big win it is. And the first time we've hit a wide receiver on a pass. And the first time we've thrown to Elmo Wright in the football game. 15-yard gain on the play. First down at the Kansas City, 39. Fraser shifts out of the tight eye to the right side. With Tater wide right, Elmo right, wide left. Hayes and, or rather, uh, Hayes and Kotalak, the running back. The handoff to Hayes, off right tackle, across the 40 to 45, and out to the 46-yard line. And the tackle was made by the linebacker, Doug Swift. He caught Hayes by the ankles from behind. But good blocking on that side by Dave Hill and also by Mo Mormon as they just spread open the hole like a gate. And Willie Frazier also make a good, a good block. He's the tight end on that side. Seven-yard gain, second down, and three yards to go. The football between the hash marks right on the KC with the helmet of the Kansas City Chiefs at the 46-yard line. Elmo right, split left. Lotus Tater is in the slot to the left side. Frazier the tight end right. Hayes and Podolak, the running backs. Play action fake to Hayes. Dawson pumps, fires. Complete to Otis Tater. He's bumped. He's still on his feet. Fights his way around one man. Hit by another, and he won't get any further. Curtis Johnson finally is the man to hold him down, but he had the first down in Miami territory at the 48-yard line. The first completion of the day to Otis Tater. First down, number 10 for the Kansas City Chiefs. Otis always deals out a little punishment. They had three men on him. Finally, were forced to stop him. Otis keeping that effort up to try to get more yardage. And here's what Len Dawson talks about when he says you have to be patient against the zone. Go for the short stuff. Tight eye with Frazier shifting out of the tight eye to the tight end of the right. Elbow right, wide left. Otis Tater, wide right. Hayes and Fotolax remain in the eye. Quick count again. The throw complete. Otis Tater finds the handle after he juggled the football at the 45-yard line. And he's tackled immediately there by Dick Anderson, who came up from safety, and also by Tim Foley, the cornerback. The gain for about three yards at second down and seven. Could have been a bigger gain on the play, but Otis Tater, first of all, had to find the handle on the football. Ten minutes and 58 seconds to play in the third quarter. Dick Carlson and Bill Grigsby bringing you Kansas City Chiefs Miami Dolphins playoff football at 10-10 time. The football just shy of the Dolphin 45. Elmo right, wide left. Taylor is in the slot. Second down and seven. Dawson. Play action fake to Podolak. Wants to throw. Being rushed up the middle. Taylor complete at the 36. Wrestles down. Pitches out to Podolak. I 
can tell from here. Let's see if that's what the official calls it, but no indication yet. From end one. Nope. Clip. It was a clip and not a ball. So it was a clean a lateral. And that really hurt it. Oh, that's murder. Second down, however, and about four to go. So there was yardage picked up on the play. Well, of course, the 39-yard gainer is wiped out, but the down is to be played over, and the Chiefs actually gained three yards on no down because the mark-off or the walk-off is from the spot of the infraction. And Hank Stram is really unhappy as he has a few words with the official downfield on the far side. Second down and about two and a half to go. Elmo right, wide left. Otis Taylor in the slot. Hayes and Podolak are the running backs. Dawson gives Podolak to Hayes off right tackle. Across the 40, has the first down. Down to the Miami 36 or 35-yard line. Nick Guadagnani is there to make the tackle. Great block by Mo Mormon. Also, I might add, by Willie Frazier, the tight end, who helped the play open up and gave a little room off the right side for Wendell Hayes. The game to the 35-yard line. The blocking up front for the Chiefs has been superb in this game. Everybody is blocking well. And that includes the wide receivers, Otis Pater and Elmo Wright, who have thrown critical blocks on big gainers. Elmo Wright on first down at the 35 of the Dolphins is wide left. Otis Pater in the slot. Len Dawson, quick count to give to Hayes. Over left tackle across the 35 and pulls his way down to the 32-yard line. Again, following big blocks from Ed Buddy and Jim Tyra. Bonacotti, the middle linebacker, who's the last man up off the pile, and he'll be given the tackle. Second down and seven yards to go. At about the 32-and-a-half-yard line, almost the 32 of the Miami Dolphins. And this drive is heating up a lot of time. Nine minutes and 20 seconds to play in the third quarter at 10-10 time. The Dolphins have not had the football offensively in the third quarter. This drive has gone over five minutes, almost six minutes so far. Elmo right is wide left, and Otis Tater is in the slot. Willie Frazier, tight end right, eye formation. Hand off Podolak, following blocks up the middle, 30, 25, 23, 22-yard line. A big block from Wendell Hayes, who is the lead man, and also Jim Tyra, the left tackle, a 10-yard gain, and it's first down, Kansas City. Well, they've been able to open up big holes in the middle of that uh, Dolphin line. However, this was a delayed play with Podolak carrying, and Eddie picks his own spots a lot of times, did on this call, and has carried to the 21, where it's first down. And listen to the crowd at Municipal Stadium. Go, go. The Chiefs in a 10-10 tie with the Dolphins have eaten up more than six and a half minutes of the third quarter with this drive. Otis Tater wide right, Elmo right is in the slot. And there's a flip side for Guadagnani up the middle. He makes contact with that buddy. And Len Dawson, who wasn't sure whether or not they were going to call the play to a halt, threw complete anyway to Otis Tater. But the officials were going to make the walk-off, and the play would not have been allowed. But it's a heads-up play by the veteran Dawson. A five-yard offside walk-off. And Guadagnani, who's going to blitz up the middle, blitzed a little bit too early. He forgot one thing. The ball hadn't been snapped from center yet. That's the second time Bonacani has done that. And uh, he tried to talk the official out of it. But obviously, he did not take a law degree in college. Four penalties for 19 yards against the Dolphins in the game. The Chiefs four for 24. First down and five. The ball at the 16 of Miami. Right, wide left. Taylor is in the slot. I formation. Hayes and Podolak. Hand off. Podolak up the middle. Block from Rutney across the 15 down to the 13-yard line. And again, Jack Rutney playing a superior football game at center for Kansas City. It'll be shy of the first down by about a yard or two. It'll be third down. Chiefs have had the ball now, Dick, for seven minutes, over seven minutes. We've moved down now to seven minutes and about five seconds the Chiefs have the football in this drive. And I might point out where it is right now is where it would have been had the 39-yard pass play with the lateral to Podolak been allowed. So the Chiefs have gotten all that yardage back, and the clock continues to move. Tremendous ball control. Elmo right is wide left. It's second down at about, a, oh, about two and a half to go. Otis Tater in the slot. The handoff is to Wendell Hayes, and he may or may not have the first down. We'll wait to see where it's marked as he came off right guard. They'll mark it down to about the 12 or 13-yard line, and Nick Buonacotti, the middle linebacker, stacked it up very well. No gain. Third down, about a yard and a half to go for the first down. 
will have the double tight end as Elmo Wright goes out and Morris Stroud comes in. Stroud and Frazier will be the tight ends. Otis Tater goes out, and for the first time, we'll see the cockeye formation. Keep and the pass off of this to someone coming out of the backfield. Let's and see for those happens. who have never seen the cockeye, it's an L formation behind Dawson, the quarterback. Jim Otis and Ed Podolak line up in the eye behind Dawson. Wendell Hayes to the right of Jim Otis behind the tackle. Otis gets the football, slides off, and oh, 10, 10, 10, 3, 2, great thinking on the part of Jimmy. He, they held him up. He didn't go down. That's why it's so important, uh, important not to body tackle anyone. You got to get him down. He wasn't. He hit it off the side and almost took it in. Jim Otis obtained and screened with the, the New Orleans Saints during the offseason. A big play. Again, it's the cockeye formation. Otis and Podolak and Wendell Hayes. Double tight end at the one. First and goal. Hand off. Otis is through the goal line and I believe he is short. We'll wait and see. No indication he is short now the goal line by a matter of inches that he tried right guard. Second down and goal to go. And the nose of the football is six inches away from the goal line. And we're closing out on 10 minutes of ball possession in the third period. Incredible. This is the longest series the Chiefs have held the football all year long. The previous long was eight minutes and 56 seconds against the Detroit Lions on Thanksgiving Day. Cockeye formation. Otis, Hayes, and Podolak. Double tight end from the six-inch mark. The handoff to Otis. Left guard. Into the pile. And it's touchdown. A delay call from the official. They wanted everybody to one pile. And Otis got it in there. And I'm quite sure that Len Dawson wanted Jim Otis to get that touchdown following the tremendous 12-yard effort on the big play just a moment ago, and he gave from the one to Otis and then from six inches. Nine minutes and 44 seconds. 16 to 10, the Chiefs have the lead. Center to try to kick. And Bobby Bell stands up at center, says turn the football over. I don't like where the laces are, and they say let's get a new one. Center to try the extra point. 5-16 to play in the third quarter. 16-10, the Chiefs lead. The kick in the air. It's good. And there's timeout on the field. 5-16 to play in the third quarter and the score. The Chiefs 17, the Dolphins 10. The Kansas City Stockyards are happy to join in sponsorship of this special football broadcast. They also join in congratulating the Chiefs for a hard-fought season with a happy ending. The Western Division Championship. The Kansas City Stockyards are playing in a big league, too. A league with a lot at stake. The return that thousands of cattle, hog, and sheep raisers are going to get for months of hard work and many dollars invested. We suggest the Kansas City Stockyard team. And it comes down to Mercury Morris at the 1. The 5, 10, 15, 20. Up the middle, the 25. Up to the 29-yard line. And he's spun down there by Kerry Reardon and also by Dennis Holman. Mike Oriard also there. And so when the Dolphins come out, let's identify our stations, the Kansas City Chiefs Network. You are listening to WIBW Topeka, Kansas, and WIBW FM Topeka, Kansas. Our current temperature in Topeka is 57 degrees under partly cloudy skies. You're listening to Chiefs football. Fully wide right at Warfield, wide left. Play action, fake the kick. Greasy wants to throw, does complete fully in a comeback at the 45, out to the 50 in the Kansas City territory and down by Marcellus at the 48-yard line. Fully had a comeback pattern, found Marcellus looking the other way, made his move and was wide open at the 45. 24-yard gain, first down for the Miami Dolphins. Nine first downs in the game for Miami. Twilly is wide left and Warfield is in the slot. 17 to 10, Chiefs lead, 4.03 to play, third quarter. Handoff, Sanka sweeping left, has a block out in front from Tuchenberg, is hit by Lanier as he comes to the 43-yard line and falls forward to about the 41. 
Mark is just shy of the 41, between the 42 and the 41. So it'll be second down, following about a six-yard gain. Second and four. Fully wide right. Warfield is wide left. Kick and sock of the running back. Plumbing the tight end on the right. Greasy, long count. DeMarco looks up, sees Buck Buchanan, knows on him. Greasy wants to throw, does, complete, fully. Bump out of bounds at the 36-yard line of Kansas City. And that will be another first down for Miami. And, Bill, they haven't changed their style. They're running curls, comeback patterns, and down and out. But they haven't run up the middle yet in a pass pattern today. Marcellus is playing a little bit deep for Twilly, and that ball was just thrown over to Twilly. He had some running room, picked up enough for the first down. Uh, Reardon in the backfield now going with the rookie in the backfield makes it a little bit tough in that defense. No word on how Johnny Robinson is, but Reardon has gone at free safety since the injury occurred with 16 seconds to play in the first half. Pretty wide right. Warfield split left. First down and 10 at the 40, rather the 36 of Kansas City. Up the middle, kick down to the 30-yard line. Looked like he may have had the right tackle in mind, but saw the hole up the middle and ran through it. Aaron Brown along with Curly Kelp and Buck Buchanan make the stop. Well, now's the time you hope for some kind of mistake, a fumble or interception to stop Miami's drive because they're really moving with that football, doing very well in the air. And now, if you got the air game going, of course, your ground game is going to work much better. And Greasy, too, has been working off of those play-action fakes which keeps the linebackers on it. Warfield wide left, fully wide to the right side. Second down and about four yards to go at the 30 of Kansas City. Stunning in the defense from the linebackers by Kansas City. Greasy throwing up the middle. Warfield complete. The 10, 9, 8, 7 yard line where Willie Lanier rips him down. And it will be first down and goal to goal, Miami. And there's the first time we've seen it completed where they have thrown up the middle. They tried a couple of other times incomplete. We've just been informed the Kansas City bench says that the return of Johnny Robinson is very doubtful. 23-yard gain on the play. Otto Stoll has come in for the Miami Dolphins. And Howard Twilley goes out. Otto Stoll, Ricky, Iowa State. Warfield comes up on the right side as a wing. Otto Stoll is tight up on the left side. Two running backs, kick and soccer from the seven, first and goal. Greasy looping it. Complete kick, bumped out of bounds at the two-yard line. Emma Thomas bumped him out. And Greasy is throwing a lot of those time counts where you get the snap, drop back for one or two counts, and then loop it out and with a ball in the air. The offensive back, in this case, Jim Kick, the receiver looks up for the football, and it's there. They mark it at the one-yard line where it's second down and goal to go. 17 to 10. The Chiefs have the lead, but it's a precarious lead now. We open the fourth quarter from the Kansas City 46. Otis Taylor in the slot. I formation, Hayes and Podolak. Dawson eyes the defense. It's an even front. The handoff. Hayes, left tackle. Has a little room. Bobbles the football. And I believe the Dolphins recovered. They did. At the Kansas City 47, a jarring tackle by Dick Anderson. Popped the ball loose. And Guanacani recovered. The second fumble in the game for Kansas City and the second time they lost a fumble. And the way things are going, even the wind has stopped blowing in favor of the Chiefs now as they get the ball in the final period, no wind. Darkness now has pretty well settled over Kansas City. The lights have been on throughout the game. Now it's pretty wide right. Ball Warfield is wide left. Dicka and Sonka, the running backs, hand off is the Sonka, tries left tackle, runs right in to Buck Buchanan who wrestles him down at the 44-yard line. Curly Cuff was there to help bring him down. Three-yard gain, second and seven. 14-20 to play in the game. 17-17 tie. And I might remind you, should the game regulation play end in a tie, there will be a sudden death playoff. First team to score wins. Howard Twilley, wide right. Paul Warfield, who's split left. Kick and soccer. 
Lined up behind Bob Greasy, the quarterback. It's second and seven. Greasy wants to throw. Looks complete. Tamar running the tight end at about the 42-yard line. Russell out of bounds by Bobby Bell. The game for about oh, a yard, maybe two yards, depending upon where they mark it. Between the 42 and 41, it'll be a three-yard game. So it's third down and four. Now the crowd begins to make noise for the defense. Up front, Marvin Upshaw, Buck Buchanan, Curly Culp, and Aaron Brown. The men now who have great responsibility, Paul Warfield, wide left, Howard Pulley, wide right. Third down and four from the 41 of Kansas City. Greasy the long count. A little jumping now. Flags in the air, it'll be offsides, Kansas City. The throw is complete to kick across the 40. This is one tackle across the 35 and down. At about the 31-yard line, Jim Kearney came up to make one of those body block tackles and totally missed Jim Kick to gain all the way to the 31-yard line. It'll be first down. There was an offsides infraction against Kansas City. I believe, though, it would be declined. It's a lot of uh, really wasted conversation because it's bound to be taken. Although the Dolphins did get the first down, they were not able to convert into any score. And Kansas City took over the football. They're all on the all-star team for the American Conference, and they're all on the Kansas City Chiefs. Warfield, wide left, fully really wide, wide right. It's second down at about eight yards to go. And around the 15-yard line, a little jumping, but no flags. Greasy wants to throw. Intercepted Jim Lynch at the nine-yard line. Jim Lynch jumped up in front of Jim Kearney. And Jim Kearney is The interception by Lynch has got to give the team momentum. Here we go. That's the second interception this year by Lynch. Otis Tater, wide right. The ball at the Kansas City 9. Elmo right, split left. Hayes and Podolak, the running back. The handoff. Hayes, left tackle. Pulls his way to the 15-16 yard line. Seven yard game. It'll be second down. Three yards to go. Nick Buonacani at the bottom of the pile, along with Bill Stanfield. Big game for Wendell Hayes, who's having a fine game. 16 carries, 73 yards. 50,374 here for the game today at Municipal Stadium. And they're still here, every one of them. Bill Yeroman just kicked up the flag, beginning to whip the wind behind the Chiefs now as they're in this drive from their own 16, second and three. Peter wide right, Elmo right, wide left. Long count by Dawson, hand off again. Wendell Hayes, 20, out to the 24-yard line. As he comes over a very big block by Jack Rudney and by Ed Buddy. Off left guard, it's first down Kansas City. Bill Stanfield again makes the tackle. It's an eight-yard game. I don't know whether I'll be able to stand it. And you folks listening at home, if you got a bad ticker, I think you better turn off the radio. It looks like another one of those wild finishes. Earlier in the game, the Chiefs. To open the third quarter, took nine minutes and 44 seconds to march for a touchdown that covered 75 yards. And now there's 9.54 to play in the game. 17 to 17, first down from the 24. Dawson fakes to Hayes, wants to throw, under pressure, complete. Willie Frazier, 30, 35, he tucks it away. He's hit, he's hit again. And he'll be stacked up this time at about the 37-yard line. The man to get him was Mike Colin, the right linebacker, who finally stacked him up along with Dick Bonacani. First down, Kansas City. move a great reception and boy I'll tell you one thing Frazier put his shoulder into a couple of guys he looked like a stand or looked like a Christmas tree under a stand as they were all holding him up as he moved out to the 37. Bob Hines goes out of that defensive line for Miami and Frank Cornish is in as the right tackle. Elmo right wide left. Otis Tater is in the slot. 
Podolak almost a wing on the left side with Wendell Hayes in the backfield. Pitch out to Hayes. Blocking in front from Mormon and Buddy. Across the 40, and that'll be as far as he goes as he got spun down as he got to the 40-yard line. Wendell Hayes picked up maybe a couple yards. Mike Colin made the tackle. It'll be second down and eight. You know, you're right, Dick. Lenny does like to get yardage on that first down because if you can pick up five or six yards on your first down play, there's so many things you can do on the second down. That's why the Chiefs run quite a bit on first down. The running game has been phenomenal in this game. The Chiefs have run almost at will against the Dolphins. But mistakes have stopped three drives. Gerald Wilson has not punted in this game for Kansas City. Otis Tater, wide right. Elmo Wright is in the slot. But we have a 17-17 tie. Eight minutes exactly to play in the game. Too much time, I'm afraid. It is a delay of game penalty. I'll set the Chiefs up second at about 13. Another mistake. And the ball is back to the 34-yard line. And it's second down and 13 yards to go. And the ball of the Chiefs, they've been penalized five times for 29 yards. It's hard to mention, from the time the referee lowers his arm at the line of scrimmage and blows the whistle, you have 30 seconds in which to put the ball in play. The penalty stopped the clock, uh, 7.58 to play in the game. Otis Tater wide right, Elmo Wright is in the slot. Woody Frazier, the tight end left. Quick count by Dawson, back to throw, under a little pressure, looking for the home run. Elmo right, he has the ball! The 15, 10, 5, 3, 2, 1! They march him down! Yes, yes. First down and goal to goal for the Kansas City Chiefs at the Miami 3 yard line. Oh, what a play! The dance doesn't count, but the great gainer does. That's a play that's worth repeating. Otis Taylor wide right, elbow right is in the slot. Woody Frazier, the tight end left. Quick count by Dawson, back to throw, under a little pressure, looking for the home run. Elbow right, he has the ball! He had to 
a ring climbing spell on that one as Lanier came over from his middle linebacker post and made a leaping tackle. And these fellas are playing like, well, like there's no tomorrow and there isn't for the losers with 5.44 to go, the clock moving. 24 to 17. Chiefs lead by seven as we move toward the end of it. Warfield wide left, 20 wide to the right side. Dick and Sock of the running backs. 5.30 to play in the game. Reverse. Warfield fumbles the ball. It's loose, and it's finally recovered by the Dolphins back at the 39-yard line. And the man to recover the football, the center, Bob DeMarco. Loss of three, second and 13. Five minutes, eight seconds left, clock moving, 24-17 Chiefs. We're in the final period of play, and nobody leaving this place. I think some people are still coming in. Feeling your friends have stopped eating turkey in the far stands. Warfield, wide left and 20 wide right. Second and 13 from the Dolphins, 39. Greasy, the quarterback. Jerry Reardon, the free safety, the rookie from Iowa, has gone the entire second half. Up the middle, incomplete. Intended for Warfield on a crossing pattern with Barr Fleming. Bobby Fleming. Bell. Bobby Bell made the great deflection as he came across on Fleming. I'm not sure it was for Fleming or Warfield, but it was Bobby Bell who made the great defensive save. And Dick, this could be the biggest third down play in 1971. Four minutes and 40 seconds to play in the game. Third down, 13 yards to go. The ball, Billy, over the 39 of the Miami Dolphins. 24-17, the Chiefs lead. The crowd comes alive. Warfield, left, fully wide right. Dick and Stalka, the running back. Lynch stunts in the hole and comes back to his right linebacker position. Greasy back to throw. Great pressure. Complete up the middle of Warfield, the 45, the 43-yard line. In the Chiefs' territory. And down by Emma Thomas. First down, Miami. Four minutes, 25 seconds left to play in the football game. 4.25. The Dolphins down to the 44-yard line of the Chiefs. Warfield and Greasy have come up with the big ones on third down in this one. Clock continues to move. 4.09 to play in the game. Warfield wide left. Fully wide right. Dick, almost a slot on the left. Sonka, the lone running back. Fleming, the tight end right. Long count by Greasy, first down. Handoff on the draw. Sonka down to the 42-yard line, a gain of a two, and Tony Culp makes the stop. Three minutes and 48 seconds left to go in this football game as the clock now becomes somewhat of a factor. However, both these teams can score in a hurry, as indicated earlier on Miami's drive. So the ball's at the 42, second down at eight, three minutes, 34 seconds left to go. The big play of the game, 63-yard pass from Dawson to right that set up the go-ahead score. 24-17, Chiefs lead, second and eight from the 42. Greasy back to throw, under pressure, throws, complete, and down. At the 38-yard line, the tight end Jim Mannix was the receiver, and Jim Kearney brought him down, short of the first down by about four, maybe five yards. Three minutes and five seconds remaining to be played in the game. And now we're at the three-minute mark and counting 24-17 Chiefs lead. And here is another big third down call at the 33, at the 38-yard line of Kansas City. Third down, almost four yards to go. Fully wide to the right side and Paul Warfield wide left. Dick and Sonka side by side. The crowd makes noise. Greasy. Over the center, Bob DeMarco, the long count. It's an odd front. Buck Buchanan knows on the center. Greasy wants to throw. He does. And it's complete to Warfield. 20, 15, down at the 12-yard line, inbound. Clock moves to first down, Miami. And again, it was a delay by Warfield, a time count by Greasy, and he got, uh, by uh, Warfield, and he got open behind Emma Thomas. First down to the Kansas City 12. Two minutes and 12 seconds, so we're going to go into the two-minute warning because Miami will not run off the play. 26-yard gain on that play. Miami will not get the playoff. The clock stops. Two minutes to play in the game. Time out on the field with the score, Chiefs 24, Dolphins 17. A big, big mistake on the part of 
Miami, Bob Greasy comes back from talking to Don Shula, his coach. Two minutes, that's all that's left in this football game. Kansas City, 24, the Miami Dolphins, 17. But Bob Greasy has given his team a lot of drive, a lot of momentum, as he's moved them down to the 12-yard line. A great move by Warfield. Here it is, the final two minutes. If you can't take it, turn off the radio. And if you can, stick with us. It's going to be a full win finish. The mark of a great football team, the ability to make that clutch drive when you need it, and the Dolphins have done it. Go to the Chiefs, both in this game. Warfield split left, fully wide right, kick the wing back right, sock to the low running back. Rolling right, Breezy wants the throw, on the run, complete to the four-yard line. Fully, the receiver, brought down by Jim Marsalis, mark it at the five, just inside the five. It is second down, and about two for the first down, and five for the touchdown. Minnesota calls it timeout, and we'll be back after this one-minute timeout. This crowd is is very tense there. <laughs> this is a big dramatic moment. One minute and 42 seconds left. Dick and I are trying to maintain our composure up here in the booth as Miami has the ball at the five. And it's second down and about two yards to go for the first down, five for the touchdown. Warfield is wide left. Pretty wide right. Running the tight end right. Kick and sock of the running backs and greasy the quarterback along count. Taking his time, drops back, wants to throw. Under pressure, being lost, rolls right, throws, touchdown. Marv Fleming with tight end. And again, it was a scrambling Greasy who found Marv Fleming open, just as he did early in the football game in a very big play. And it is now 24 to 23. One minute and 36 seconds to play in the game. Well, the way your premium has been kicking, it's too much to think that they might block uh, an extra point attempt, but it could be it would be a bad pass in center. The southpaw soccer-style kicker with Noonan holding. The kick is in the air, and it is good. And with one minute and 36 seconds to play in the game, we have got ourselves a tie football game. Well, if we go into uh, extra period, of course, there will be a coin uh, toss in the middle of the field. And I'm all up at this time, sitting along the benches, along with the coaching staff and taxi squad. This is the biggest part of this game because it's going to lead to a lot of money, whoever wins it. A minute and 36 seconds. That's all that's left. And that's not too many ticks on the clock. You can hold your hand over your heart. And if it's not too rapid, you might be able to time it out that way. Tell you one thing. We have seen two of the greatest football teams in the National Football League in this one. Tremendous play on the part of both teams. The ability to come back. The 91 yard drive by the Chiefs and now by the Dolphins to come back and tie the game with only a minute and 36 to play. A 71 yard drive and nine plays. And McVay at the goal line. And Yepremian's kick is in the air. Podolak at the 1. Up the middle. 10. The 15. 20. 25. 30. 35. 40. 45. 50. 45. Another great and McVay at the goal line, and Yepremian's kick is in the air. Podolak at the one, up the middle, 10, the 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45. Bananas and everything else. Total lag just brought the ball back 
downfield. It looked like he'd break it and go all the way. He carried it to the 22. He was pushed out of bounds there. The Chiefs have the football. One minute, 25 seconds to play. And at this point, you hope to settle for anything but mainly a Chiefs victory. A 78-yard return by Podolak. And what a time for it. His longest of the year, his longest of his career. Stater, wide right, elbow right, wide left, high formation, handoff, Podolak up the middle, down to about the 21, maybe a yard gain, it'll be second and nine. Clock rules, 1.15 to play in the game. Shula keeps looking at the clock, undoubtedly they'll call a timeout or two, but at least they haven't yet. One minute and nine, and of course the clock is a big thing now. One minute and five, one four, you can count it out at home. It's down to one two, down to one minute even left in this football game. Center route stands on the goal on the sideline with his jacket on and stands motionless. The man of cool serene. Hater wide right, elbow right, left, hand off, total act, and again he's stacked up at the 21 yard line. And the Chiefs may very well now be playing for the boot from Stenerud. The Dolphins have stopped the clock. 41 seconds to play in the game and timeout Miami. And the pressure is going to be on a little guy from Preston, Norway. I am sure. Who told me Merry Christmas in Norwegian today and it, I didn't know whether he was being nice to me or not. They have a, it's a different expression. And, uh, but Janski is one of the greatest guys in the world, and I know that he's, uh, he's standing over there, that number three, and he's thinking, well, there's a whole lot of people going to be defending on my, depending on my right foot here in just a moment, and uh, I think that's about what's going to happen, Dick, unless we come up with something unusual. Third down and 10, 41 seconds left to go in the football game. And in case you're wondering about Jan's cool, I asked him how well he slept last night. He said he slept 10 hours last night. Never slept better. I did a broadcast. I couldn't sleep. I may not sleep tonight. Well, I'll tell you, there'll be, despite the fact that people said I said they'd be dancing in the streets after the open win, and they went up and down the street looking for it <laughs> and didn't find any, I bet there will be tonight. That's the 21, third down and nine. High formation with Hayes and Podolak. Otis Tater, a wing on the right side. Good shot, Podolak, trying right tackle, stacked up at about the 24 for a loss of three. Good penetration from Nick Buenacani and also the cornerback, Tim Foley. 35 seconds to play in the game. The crowd comes to a street. Timeout called by the Dolphins. They have none remaining, according to the scoreboard, and Jan Sinnerud comes on the field. Well, the Dolphins are out, and they just call one to stop the clock with 35 seconds. So, I'll tell you, this is almost too much pressure to ask to put on any one person, but it's going to be on Jan. Lenny Dawson has gone over to talk to Hank Stram, but the whole pressure of uh, and a lot of money is riding on Jan's foot. Sinnerud, who made the American Conference All-Star team, even though he was the second scorer to Gary Yepremian of Miami, considered by many to be the best money kicker in the game. One big reason why he's on the team, the man who can really come through in the clutch. Jan is really being called on for the biggest one now in his career. The kick will come from about 31 yards. Dawson holding. The flag hangs limp with the pole, no win to speak of. They're asking for an extra yard, they'll mark it at the 32. Almost a straight angle, just off center to the right. 24-24. The kick is in the air. And it is good! John Stanerud is probably crying his eyes out right now. Believe me, that's got to be the saddest thing that the moment in his young life as he kicked that ball a little bit off to the right and he's over there with Stram and Jan is upset and, well, that's the way it goes. That's what makes sports the thing that it is. A tough break and now you got to dig in and hold. Lloyd Mumford put tremendous pressure on him, that kick and nearly got his hands on the football as he shot in from the 
Keith's left around the end. The kick was just barely to the right. 31 seconds in the game, a 24-24 tie. Warfield wide left, fully wide right. Breezy the quarterback from the 20. Handoff is to Saka, sweeping left, run out of bounds by Aaron Brown at the 20-yard line. So there's no gain. It will be second and ten. The out-of-bounds play stops the clock. The Dolphins elect to, to run out the football for the remainder of the fourth quarter and go into overtime. They will toss the coin again. And I might also point out that the Chiefs did not punt in the regulation football game. No punts by Gerald Wilson. The premium from his own 35. Low one, a line drive, and it comes to Buck Buchanan, a lateral to Pono Lack of the 20, the 25, the 30, the 35, outside, gets away from one man, 40, 45, 46, yard run. The tackle made by Lloyd Mumford. So the five-yard penalty was very, very costly. And a great heady move by the veteran, 31-year-old Buck Buchanan, as he caught that football in the air, and lateral to Pono Lack. Team to score wins. 24 to 24. We're in sudden death. Dick Carlson bringing you play by play with Bill Grigsby. Championship football. Tight eye formation. Dawson back. Loops it out. The screen to Podolak. A block from Buddy. He gets it out to about the 47 yard line of the Miami Dolphins and he's bumped down there. Dick Guadacani making the stop. Mark it at the 46 yard line of Miami. Eight yard gain. Second and two. Well, Dick, I'm going to tell you something. We come on and win this one. This place will crack wide open. And so will you and me. I think I already have. Drinking hot coffee like I own the concession stand. 13 out of 18 in passing for Dawson for 182 yards. Total act. Six catches for 76. His leading receiver. Tight eye formation again. They run out of it. The give is to Wendell Hayes. He has the first down. With a great block for Morris Stroud and Ed Buddy. As he comes across the 45 and down to the 43. Manny Fernandez made the stop. Mark it down at the 42. Wendell Hayes now. 19 carries for 88 yards on the ground. Odalak, 12 for 68. Jim Otis, 3 for 14 and a touchdown. Elmo Wright, 3 for 28. Tater wide right, Elmo Wright wide left at the 42 to fake the handoff. Podolak hit for a loss and a flag on the play. Flag on the play as Podolak is hit for a yard loss and it's illegal procedure against the Chiefs to call. Five-yard penalties now in midfield mean a lot. Let's identify our station. This is the Kansas City Chiefs Football Network. You're listening to the Kansas City Chiefs Playoffs on WIBW Radio, Topeka, Kansas, and WIBW-FM, Topeka, Kansas. Current temperature under partly cloudy skies, 54 degrees. <laughs> was for a yard and the Dolphins declined the penalty the ball to the 43 you might talk about that they could have been at least out of field goal range for Kansas City elbow right wide left Otis Tater wide right sudden death from Municipal Stadium handoff Podolak Oxen sweeping right wants to run 40 down to the 38 the 37 maybe the 36 yard line short of the first down by four or five yards the tackle made by Doug Swift the linebacker on that side for the Dolphins. The football between the 36 and the 37-yard line. The Chiefs are moving into the win. Down may have another shot at it, though, Dick. Third down and about four and a half to go as we're in overtime with 12 minutes, 18 seconds left in the fifth period. And if you join us late, the fifth period is right. 24 to 24, sudden death football. Elbow right, wide left, Peter wide right, hand off, Podolak sweeping right, has a block, cuts inside of Buddy's block, loses the football at the 35, and it is Kansas City's football, I believe. 
the preliminary indication was Chiefs football. The Chiefs go to the football. At the Miami 35-yard line, the first indication from Bill Stanfield, the defensive end, was the Dolphins got it. But I believe Ed Buddy, the guard, who was out there as a pulling blocker, fell on the football. That's right. Somebody did with the red uniform on. That's a blessing. Fourth down, the ball at the 35. Yon will try one from the 42. Everybody say a little prayer for Yon right now. Say it in Norwegian, American, anything you can say it in. 12-02 to play in sudden death. First team that scores wins. This is a winning field goal attempt from the 42, the far half. Into a slight win. Center root with Dawson holding the snap, the play. Into a slight win. Center root. With Dawson holding the snap, the play, the kick is blocked. And it comes down to the 25-yard line. Lynch is there to cover at the 23, the 22 and a half. And the Dolphins will get the football at their own 22 and a half. And I believe that, again, it was Lloyd Mumford who came in and got a hand in the football. Well, I'll tell you something. That was a, a tough break, but now you got to dig in and get your defense to stop Miami. Oh! What a football contest. I don't know how it happened. You'll have to wait and look at the film. But John was turned down again this time with a block kick. Tim Foley is given credit for blocking the field goal. And now it's the Chiefs defense that has its work. Willie, wide to the right. Warfield split left. Sanka and kick the running back. Greasy the quarterback. Any way you score, you win. Breezy a long shot, gives the kick, sweeping left, blocking has in front, across the 25, hit it to 30, gets it out to the 34-yard line, Curly Kulp is there, along with Jim Lynch to bring him down, and it is a first down for Miami. Bob Zuckenberg, the pulling guard, made a big block to help spring the hole for Jim Kick, an 11-yard gain, out to the 34 of the Dolphins, the far hash mark. First down. Number 18 for the Dolphins. The Chiefs have 21. Make that 19 first down for Miami. Willie wide right. Warfield wide left. And you're listening to the first sudden death playoff in the history of NFL. Playoff football. Breezy. Hands to Sanka. Left tackle hit by Bell and down at the 43-yard line. Clock is really meaningless. Although it does tick off the quarters, and the only thing that is important is at the end of the first quarter, the teams would shift ends of the field as they would in a normal game. Other than that, the clock means nothing. Fully wide right. Warfield is wide left. Dick and Sanka are the running backs and Fleming the tight end left. A four-man front and even front. Nobody on the center. Greasy back. Under pressure, the ball batted down by Aaron Brown. He got a hand in the football. It's an incomplete pass. Third down and six. Aaron Aaron Brown. Brown. Big third down play, Dick. This is vitally important to keep the Miami Dolphins on their side of the 50-yard line because both of these boys can kick the long ball. That's what I thought. They just announced that the last one, the last sudden death, was in a championship playoff game, not an NFL title game, when Green Bay beat Baltimore. That was a Don Chandler field goal. Howard Twilley wide right, Warfield wide left, third and six. A very big play. Greasy back to throw. Twilley, a slant, completes the 50-yard line. Tackled by Jim Marsalis at the 49, and Greasy was really slammed back at the 29. And he's slow to get up. But it's a big, big first down for the Dolphins as Twilley ran a slant over the middle, and you could smell it coming. Greasy's hurt the left side of his... Uh, arm, his shoulder, he's been hurt uh, the last few games. I think he wants maybe a timeout because he was shaken off. Yes, he does want a timeout. He was shaken up on the play and is going over to the sideline. He's no, uh, nothing here. And uh, Greasy's going over and talk to Don Chula, still shaking his head. He had his bell rung pretty good. Well, and again, it's important to point out that now, even should a Miami drive brought down, Gary Yepermian, with a little wind behind him, can make field goals in this range. His longest this year, 48 yards. He has missed from 54. Those were his two longest field goal attempts of the year. And the wind is at the back of the Miami Dolphins. Well, I'll tell you 
tell you, uh, again, uh, Greasy is hurt, and I don't know what they're going to uh, think, even think about sending. No, there's no one else coming in, although Shula's talking to his other, George Meyer, his other quarterback. Now, Greasy's turning around, coming back out, but he was hurt, and uh, I'm sure that he wanted to get his head clear on his next uh, play call before he made it. First down, Miami at the Kansas City 48. Dick Carlson with Bill Grigsby bringing you championship playoff football in sudden death from Municipal Stadium in Kansas City. Howard Twilley is wide left and Warfield is in the slot. Dick and Sock are the running back. Plumbing the tight end on the right side. An even defense with nobody on DeMarco the center. The handoff is to Saka for no gain as he tries left tackle. Runs right into Aaron Brown. Jim Lynch also there. Second and ten. The Chiefs have done a great job in holding that running game, the touted running game of the Miami Dolphins, but it has been the passing game that has hurt Kansas City this afternoon. Bob Greasy has been very sharp with Paul Warfield. And in a couple of big plays, DeMar Fleming, one for a touchdown, and also Howard Twilley now for a very big first down and a third down play. It is second and ten at the Kansas City. 48, Twilley wide right, Warfield left. Handoff, Warfield on the slant. Reverse, tackle for a loss by Curly Culp. Back in Miami territory at the 48-yard line. And Curly Culp shot in. A rather Marvin Upshaw. And he would not be suckered on the play. He came in, and like a good defensive end, he maintained his ground, looked up, and lo and behold, there was Paul Warfield with the football. Oh, what a play. That was really uh, smelling one out. Now, you must get rush on Greasy here. Third down, and about 15 to go for the first down. You got to stop this pass. And no doubt, they'll throw the football. Fully the last time. Look out for Warfield, who's had great success on Emma Thomas. Warfield left and fully right. Jim managed to tight end his left. Greasy under pressure. Looks up the middle. and complete. Lanier in Lanier with him, but there was tremendous pressure on Greasy by Aaron Brown. And it's fourth down and 14. And we have another chance, six. Another chance for the football. Larry Seifel is in the game to punt. Seifel has punted three times for 31, 42, and 50. And I'll point out again, Gerald Wilson has been bench-ridden the entire day. He has not punted at all. The wind is behind Seifel. Podolak at his own 11. The deep man to receive. No doubt, there will be pressure on Seifel. Good penetration to kick away. No contact on Seifel. A wobbly spiral, Podolak fair catch of the Kansas City 17. So the Chiefs have another chance. With 7.55 to play in sudden death overtime and a 24 to 24 tie. Well, it's Kansas City football now that a little relief has come in, in the form of a football turnover to the Kansas City Chiefs. We do have the ball. The clock is running. It means nothing. The only thing that means anything is to get on the scoreboard. And now you cannot afford to make any mistakes in your own territory. You must move the ball. I you to turn off your radio, didn't I? <laughs> they are those folks in St. Louis and Minneapolis, St. Paul, who join us for the first time today are here in honey. Dawson under pressure, throws the screen, total act complete, blocking set across the 20, the 25, and bumped out of bounds at about the 26-yard line, very near the first down at the 27th. There's an injured player, and it is the center, Jack Rudnick. One of the lead blockers. It's short of a first down by two inches, and I can't even see the ball. It's covered up by players, but I, I think it's short by two inches. Let's hope Rudney is not hurt. He was hurt last week. He was able to have the week off against Buffalo, but I'm afraid he's been injured again. The same injury he had before. Let's see where that... Uh, see where they put it down. They might Rodney, have moved it up a little on me. Rudney is being helped off the field, but he's on his own feet and... First not, down. Not sure what the problem is with Rudney, but Mike Warriard, in his second year... 
from Notre Dame is in the ball game at center, and he had a fine game against the Buffalo Bills last week. And now the opportunity for those young people who play in that game is showing even more importance as they got some game time. And, of course, that depth bench strength means so very much to a championship contender. Then Higby said it's his shoulder appears thick and not his leg, and if that's the case, maybe he'll get back in there right away. First down at the Chief 27-yard line. Tight eye formation, Dawson has Frazier shift out of the tight eye, come up left, Delmo right, wide left, Dota Stater wide right. Play action fake to Hayes, he gives the ball to Hayes across the 25 on the draw, maybe out to the 28-yard line, but certainly no more than a yard gain, we'll almost call it no gain, they marked it between the 27 and 28. Manny Fernandez, the defensive tackle, making the stop. Second down, nine and a half to go. Keats are moving into a slight breeze, it really isn't that bad on the field. Uh, way up on top, the flags are blowing rather hard, but down at field level, it looks like the wind is at a calm. With 6.22 uh, left in the fifth period, it's 24 to 24. Chiefs on their own, 27, second down and 10. Sounds like something you might name a restaurant, fifth quarter, but it's not. It's a football game. Looping it out to Wendell Hayes, trying the 25 and bumped out of bounds again at the 27-yard line as they tried to get the screen set up. But it was thrown to the short side of the field and the blocking wasn't able to set. Jim Riley bumped Wendell Hayes out of bounds. Well, I tell you, it's been such a holiday week. I was hoping we could have stay away from the fifth on this, uh, on this particular time. <laughs> Jack Rudney is back in the game. Mike Oriard goes out. <laughs> Fifty thousand three hundred seventy-four, and they're all still here at Municipal Stadium. Believe me. Twenty-four, twenty-four tie in sudden death, and we've Carol. played about eight minutes and fifty-three seconds of sudden death already. Dawson back to throw on third and ten, looking long for elbow right out of bounds, incomplete. Up the left sideline at the 50-yard line. And the men defending on the play, Curtis Johnson and Dick Anderson. So we will see Gerald Wilson in the game to punt for the first time today. And although that wind is not much of a factor on the field level, where Gerald Wilson has to kick the football, it might be a little bit of a factor. Well, let's uh, all pull for old Gerald now. I hope he has that leg limbered up because we really need a long high one here. Jake Scott, the deep man. Dick Anderson is the short man in punt formation to receive from Gerald Wilson at his own 15-yard line. Big, big, booming, wobbling spiral. Jake Scott, 22-yard line. He'll run it back to the right, the 30. The 35 tripped up and down. As he gets out to about the 38-yard line, the man to get him was Ed Lothamer. And in case you're interested, 5.28 remaining in the sudden death overtime period. Tie score, 24 to 24. Footy goes wide to the left. Warfield is in the slot. Dick and Sonka side by side, the running backs and floating the tight end right. And even front, handoff, Sonka, left tackle, runs into a wall at the 43 and makes his way out to the 44-yard line, but he ran right in to Buck Buchanan. They marked his progress all the way to the 45. A two-yard gain, third down and four. Another big... Third down play. Oh, Dick, this whole game has been full of these, and this is even bigger than the other one. Pass to Rowley. Fully wide right in Warfield is split left. Jim Manage is in a tight end on the right side. Kick almost a wing back left. Third down and four. Very, very big play. Long count. Greasy wants to throw. Willie, the receiver intended, he has the football in a comeback pattern at the Kansas City 46. First down, Miami Dolphins. Willie, and I watched him all the way, was moving one-on-one -on -one with Marcellus. Started the down-and-out pattern, then stopped and came back from about the 44 out to the 47. Caught the football at his knees and fell down there where Marcellus downed him. Between the 46 and 47 at first down, Miami Dolphins. Twenty wide right and Paul Warfield is wide left. Fleming back in as a tight end on the right side. 
Greasy back wants to throw on first down. Look for Warfield. Time count. Looking deep. Incomplete. Incomplete. And that time, Emmett Thomas had Warfield covered step for step and had the inside angle at the 20-yard line. I'm a little surprised they went uh, for the distance on that particular play when each down inside the 50 is so vitally important just to move it up a little bit and get it in field goal range. Well, the ball is at the 46 and a half, and of course the field goal at this stage would come from well beyond the 50-yard mark. And now the Dolphins have only two downs to get it any closer. Warfield is wide left. Willie is almost tied up on the right. Fleming the tight end on the left and Dick and Sanka side by side. The running back second and ten at the Kansas City 46 and a half. 24, 24 tie in sudden death. Hand off the kick trying to sweep left. Stacked up as he gets to the 45 yard line. Aaron Brown hit him first at the 48 and then it was the man to get him down. Buck Buchanan who rode him down at the 45 along with Curly Culp. So there's a gain of about a yard and a half. It'll be third down and about nine yards to go for the first time. And I'll say it again. Another big third down play. And this is a lot bigger than the last one too, Dick. <laughs> I'd say about that big, and I'm a fisherman. Just started. The start of this ball game, and each one gets bigger, believe me. 20 wide right, and Warfield is in the slot. Mandich, the tight end, is on the left. Third and nine for the Chief 45. Greasy, rolling right, stops, goes under pressure for Warfield. It's incomplete. Defended by Emma Thomas at the 40 yard line. Emma Thomas, a very big play. Yep, congratulations from Jim Merce, Dennis, and Kerry Reardon. And now the question is will the Dolphins attempt a 52 or 53 yard field goal? For the win. They're going to. Permian is on the field and they will go for it. Oh, my. It is a 52 yard field goal attempt from the far hat. Win virtually no factor. Hold on to your hat, everybody. Carl Noonan is the holder. The crowd on its feet is making a little noise. A great rush. The kick by your Permian is in the air. It is no good. It is wide to the left side. It was short and wide to the left side. McVeigh, oh, decided not to run it out. I don't know <laughs> whether we can make it or not. Two minutes and 39 seconds left in the fifth period. The Chiefs have the football again. Another shot at them. Call home and tell mom we'll be late for dinner. You know who cares. Go ahead and eat, shit. <laughs> Friend, I told you I'd be late anyway, but I didn't know I'd be this late. The ball is on the Kansas City 20. Jan Stenerud missed one. Right at the end of regulation play that would have given the Chiefs a win. Jan Stenerud had one blocked in sudden death. And now, with Mike Oriard back at center in place of an injured Jack Rutney, Yepremian has missed his, and the handoff is the photo act sweeping right. Across the 20 and about the 20 and a half as he's caught from behind and he's down. Jack Rudney is in. Mike Oriard is not back in the game. Misinform you. Rudney, who was shaken up, taken out of the game. Oriard played a series at center, and then Rudney came back in. Dawson in the ball game. 15 completions out of 22 attempts for 181 yards. And Bob Greasy with 20 out of 32 for 124 yards. Greasy has been intercepted twice, and Dawson intercepted once. Elmo right, wide left. Otis Tater is in the slot. Play action fake, photo act. Dawson rolls left, has time, throwing up the middle. Elmo right, complete. Across the 40, the 45, hit from behind and down at the 46-yard line by Curtis Johnson. First down, Kansas City. And Elbow right again has come up with a big catch. He certainly did, and he was shaken up a little bit, I think, when he was hit from behind, but he wants to stay in. Dave Hill thought he ought to go out. A great catch by Elmo, a good move, and now the Chiefs are in business at their 46th first down. Yeah. 
And we're approaching the end of the first sudden death quarter, a minute 14 to play. Should it end without a score, the Chiefs will go to the other end of the field and move with the wind behind them. A 24-24 tie in sudden death at Municipal Stadium, Kansas City. Elmo right, wide left, Otis Taylor in the slot, handoff Hayes on the draw, across midfield, into Dolphin territory at the 49. The tackle made by Bob Hines, the defensive tackle. Good gain of five yards on the play. Second down and five. The clock continues to move with 42 to play in the sudden death. I'll tell you, I don't know how a man can be a coach in this business. It's, it's tough enough to be a broadcaster and a fan, but to be a coach and go through this agony. 30 seconds left to go in the fifth period. Elbow right has three catches for 103 yards in the football game. Dawson back, quick count, wants to throw. The ball's batted down at the line of scrimmage. And the man to get it was Bob Heinz, the defensive tackle, so it'll be third and five. Important third down play coming up now for both the Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins. The clock stops, 22 seconds to play in the first sudden death period. And you need some more yardage because the ball at the 50, it's a little bit out of field goal range. You'd be kicking into the wind anyway. So now you can figure that Dawson will throw again with third and six. Elbow right, wide left on third and five at the 50, and Otis Taylor in the slot, quick count. Dawson has a little time, wants to throw, does. Intercepted! Intercepted 35 to the 40 to 45 and down there by Otis Taylor. And I believe that it was Jake Scott, the free safety who made the interception in front of Elmo Wright, the intended receiver at the 25. And now the Dolphins have the football at their own 45. 14 seconds to play in the first sudden death period. in a game like this it's so easy to make understatements bill but this by far one of the greatest football games ever witnessed in the history of professional football understatement <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding it's first down on the 45 and that's the end of the fifth period and for the benefit of you folks listening in and driving along, there's nothing wrong with you. We have finished five periods of play. We're going into the sixth. It's overtime in Municipal Stadium in Kansas City, where it's 24 to 24, Kansas City against Miami. Let's pause for station identification. This is the Kansas City Chiefs Football Network. Black, following a Willie Lanier interception, it was 10 to nothing with center roots kick. The score was tied in the second quarter when Larry Saka scored from one yard out. Gary Yepremian ahead of the point, and then Yepremian kicked a 14-yard field goal to make it 10-10. We'll run down the rest of the scoring that happened in the second half in a moment. Right now, the ball at the 45 of Miami as we open period number six. 24 to 24, a tie game in sudden death. First team to score wins. Hand off to Saka, up the middle, stripped up after he gets a gain of two or three. But the man to get him was Curly Culp, and what a game Curly Culp has been playing. Marvin Upshaw had his hands on him also. Well, the announcement just made, this is only the second time in history a game has gone into a second sudden death overtime. And the Chiefs have been in both of them. The other time in 1962 in a championship game when the then Dallas Texans beat the Houston Oilers. Greasy rolling left, second and eight, throws on the run, incomplete. Intended for Paul Warfield at the Kansas City 30. And he was a step in front of Emmett Thomas, but Greasy having the throw on the run under great pressure from Buck Buchanan was able to get the ball away, but not accurately. Of uh, Curly Culp and Aaron Brown also applied pressure as he elected instead of going into the pocket to roll out with it, but the Chiefs rolled right with him. And Dick, what would you say coming up? A very, very big third down play. How's that? Huh? I'd say it's the biggest of the afternoon. <laughs> 24 to 24. The 1,374 fans at Municipal Stadium and a press entourage of several hundred here to see this one. Warfield wide left, really wide right. Managed the tight end right. Third down and eight. Greasy, a little time. Being pressured by Aaron Brown. Graham 
scrambling at the 30, rolling left, stop, wants to throw long, he does, looking for Mandich, it is incomplete at the seven yard line. Right in front of the, right in front of the groundskeeper, George Toma, I might add, and in front of two officials, and I, oh, I was afraid for a moment there might be a, uh, uh, an infraction on the play. There was not. It's fourth down. We're going to get the ball back. Jim Kearney and Kerry Reardon. The two safeties were double teaming on Mandit. And now we'll have a punt from Larry Seipel into the win. Seipel in the game. Has punted four times. 31, 42, 50, and 35 yards. An average of 39.5. The deep man is Podolak. Seifel kicking into the wind, stands at his own 33-yard line. Good snap, the kick away. It's not a bad punt to the 15. Podolak wants to run it back. Tries to come to the near sideline. He's hit at the 15-yard line, and it goes down there. I believe the tight end, Jim Manage, is the first one to get down there. Curtis Johnson also there. 38-yard punt. The Chiefs are on their own 15-yard line, moving this time with the wind behind them. The crowd. <laughs> well, I want to say that we've been able to maintain our composure. I can't understand it. <laughs> the crowd now calling for some excitement, calling upon the offense to move the football. Otis Painter wide to the right side. Elmo Wright is in the slot. Willie Frazier, the tight end, lined up left. Wendell Hayes and Ed Podolak, the running back. The handoff to Hayes, over left guard. Gets it out to the 20-yard line. A gain of five. Good blocking out in front from Jim Tyrer and from Ed Buddy. Mark it out to the 19. A gain of four. It's second and six, and the tackle goes to Nick Wanakani. You know, Otis Taylor has managed to work himself in the open on a couple of plays. Uh, in the last couple of series. I wouldn't be surprised to see Lenny go deep to Otis before long. He's gone deep to Elmo, and uh, we have an opportunity now to see what's coming up. Otis Tainer has caught two passes for only nine yards in the game. Wendell Hayes rushing, 22 carries, 98 yards. Quick count, handoff, Podolak, option play, running right. He's hit, he's down at the 11-yard line. It looked like Podolak maybe had something in mind like throwing the football. Wendell Hayes was downfield along with Willie Frazier. They were being covered fairly well by Dick Anderson, the strong safety, and also by Tim Foley, the cornerback. Jim Riley and Manny Fernandez, however, the left end and tackle, respectively, ran Podolak down for a loss back to the 11. It's third down and 14. That obviously was a busted play on the part of the Chiefs. They, in fact, I kept looking for a flag, thinking there might be some illegal procedures. WIBW Topeka, Kansas, and WIBW FM Topeka, Kansas. The Dolphins are going to go with a three-man defensive front and a fourth linebacker. Prevent defense, Dawson, back at the five, wants to throw, does, completes the puddle act at the 15, gets it out to the 18, the 19, maybe the 20-yard line, but that'll be as far as he goes, and it will bring up a fourth down and about five. Nick Bonacani, along with Jim Foley, there to make the tackle. And Gerald Wilson is called on to punt for the second time. His first punt, which came in the first sudden death overtime period, was good for 52 yards. Now Gerald will have some wind at his back, and let's hope he booms one. Jake Scott at about the Miami 35, and Dickie Anderson at the 45 are the deep men for Miami. Good snap from Bobby Bell. Plenty of time. Gerald Wilson, another big kick. Wobbling spiral. Scott, fair catch at the Miami 30-yard line. And since the regulation play ended, this is the deepest Miami has been in their own territory. That's right, Dick, and what a kick by Gerald Wilson. He kicked that ball in the air, a total of 40, about 70, or rather 60 yards in the air. A 50-yard punt officially, and from where he did kick the ball after the step up, was about a 60-yard punt, of course, officially a 50-yarder. And Gerald who lost the kicking duel to Dave Lewis of Cincinnati by an average of 3.24 inches because of a poor performance on the final game of the season against Buffalo. has had a good game here in the overtime and has only two punts of the day. Warfield wide right, but he is in the slot. High formation with Sanka and kick along count He pitch out the kick, sweeping left. The block from Sanka, a little room out to the 35-yard line. 
It'll be a gain of about five yards, and Willie Lanier was over there to bring him down. Jim Lynch also over there to help. Five-yard gain, second down, five yards to go. It is now the longest game in pro football history. In time, it's already gone by the Houston-Dallas playoff. Well, if you look for Omens, of course, the then Dallas Texans, now Kansas City Chiefs won that one. Warfield is split left. Otto Stowe, wide right, handoff, big hole, stock of 50, 45, 40, down to the 36-yard line of the Kansas City Chiefs. Terry Reardon made the stop on the draw, a very big hole off left tackle for Larry Stocka. First down, Miami Dolphins. This is the deepest penetration for the Dolphins in sudden death. Oh, that was a big play. It was a perfectly executed play. Nobody near him until he got into the secondary. Now you got to hope for a fumble or a mishandled football because they're definitely in range of Gary Apremian. That sock is longest carry of the year, 29. His previous high was 28 yards. He has 10 carries for 83. Warfield wide left. Otto Stowe split right. Hand off the kick, trying right tackle. A little bit of a hole. He runs right into Buck Buchanan, who wraps him up after a yard or two gain. Down to about the 33. It'll be second down at about eight yards to go. Mark it at the 34. Second and eight from the 34 yard line. 24 to 24 in sudden death overtime. The defenses are getting a tremendous workout in this one. Gary Apremian pacing up the sideline in front of the Miami Dolphin bench. Warfield is wide left. Otto Stoll, the rookie from Iowa State, split right. Handoff, soccer, right tackle. The hole closes in a hurry as Willie Lanier is over there to wrap him up by the knees as he gets it down to the 31, maybe the 30-yard line. The official there very quickly to spot the football. Short of the 30, it's third down. Four and a half yards to go, almost five. Well, if you had a choice now, you'd really ask for a fumble. With the ball at the 31-yard line, third down, five yards to go. Your premium uh, definitely can kick them in from here. However, there is, I feel, a little breeze coming in. I hope it turns into a gale in the next couple of seconds. The wind is beginning to kick up into the face of the Dolphins. Warfield is split left, and Otto Stowe is split right. Third and four and a half from the 30 and a half of Kansas City. Handoff, kick, wrapped up by Jim Lynch at the 30-yard line. Lynch who read the play beautifully, came in from right side linebacker and met kick at the 30. So it's fourth and four. And here comes little Gary Apremian, the smallest man in professional football, one inch shorter than Bobby Howfield of the New York Jets. And Gary Apremian has a lot riding on this one. Carl Noonan will hold. The attempt will be a 37-yarder right down the middle as Kick ran it up the middle to get the field position for your premier. 11 men up front. Nobody back. The pressure will be on. The snap. Kick is in the air, and it is good! And the Miami Dolphins have won in sudden death overtime, eliminating the Kansas City Chiefs from the playoffs. The Chiefs, in a bid for another Super Bowl title, have fallen in the second sudden death overtime. Seven minutes and 20 seconds remained in the second uh, sudden death. That means seven minutes and 40 seconds had been played. The field goal for 37 yards by Gero Yepremian ends it all. And the final score is the Miami Dolphins 24 and the or 27 and the Kansas City Chiefs 24. The Dolphins who fell short of a try in the playoffs last year by losing to the Oakland Raiders in the first game of the playoffs, have come back this year to beat the Kansas City Chiefs, another Western Division opponent in the first game, a tremendous football game, played extremely well by both teams, both teams with numerous opportunities to win, and it was a 37-yard field goal by the young Cypress place kicker, Gary Yepremian, that has won it for the Miami Dolphins. And so, the Miami Dolphins now will wait for the outcome of that game tomorrow between the Baltimore Colts and the Cleveland Browns. And the AFC Championship game could very well end up in Miami, Florida. And of course, the fans down there, very proud of their football team, which was an AFL expansion team in 1966, 
had some very lean years under head coach George Wilson. Then, in the 1970 season, under their newly appointed head coach, Don Shula, a tremendous reversal, a 10-4 season and a playoff berth. This year, both teams today with records of 10-3-1 coming into this football game, playing a tremendous football game. Both teams deserving a great deal of credit in front of a crowd of 50,374, and the victory goes to the Miami Dolphins. Tremendous disappointment, of course, for the Kansas City Chiefs and their fans. A disappointment that has seen tremendous football played here and on the road throughout the 1971 season. Great drives like the drive against the Oakland Raiders that went 93 yards for a winning field goal and a Western Division title. And the drive for 91 yards toward the end of this football game that temporarily gave the Chiefs a 24-17 lead. The tremendous drive of 80 yards by the Miami Dolphins that tied the game in regulation at 24-24. Missed field goals by Yepremian and by Stenerou that could have ended the game either way. And then the big one, the 37-yarder by Gara Yepremian that wins it all for the Miami Dolphins and gives them the right to go on in the playoffs in 1971. Not much more we can add. A tremendous game. Veterans who have played so well. Rookies like Elmo Wright, who has such a great game in today's game. Rookies like Kerry Reardon, who filled in so well for the injured Johnny Robinson. Individual stars this year, like Buck Buchanan and Bobby Bell on defense and Curly Culp, like Len Dawson and Otis Tater. And what a great year Otis Tater has had. The 11 Kansas City Chiefs will be going to the Pro Bowl, the All-Star Game, January 23rd in Los Angeles. Len Dawson, Jim Tyrer, Ed Buddy, Otis Taylor, Buck Buchanan, Curly Culp, Emmett Thomas, Bobby Bell, Willie Lanier, Jan Stenerud, and Gerald Wilson. They'll all be there on January the 23rd. Tremendous season that, of course, ends in tremendous disappointment, but certainly there is no reason for either of these football teams to feel any sorrow, any disappointment, any ashamed feelings at all about the way they have played in this, the 1971 football season. The Chiefs have played as Coach Hank Stram would say, with great pride and great determination. They have been a team of great courage, able to come back on numerous occasions, a team of very big plays. And it would be too much now to go back and try to isolate the very big plays, the big games, for instance, stopping a five-game winning streak by the Washington Redskins on national television. A big game, a conference championship against the Oakland Raiders. There have been numerous big plays, numerous big games, numerous big performances. But, of course, now the players in the locker room, whom I'll visit very shortly, all feel the same, that it went for nothing because the Chiefs now are eliminated from the playoffs in 1971. The final score, Miami Dolphins 24, Kansas City Chiefs, or rather 27 to 24, Dolphins over the Chiefs. This is Dick Carlson at Municipal Stadium in Kansas City.